Hey! Brian! How are you, sir? You almost caught me dancing. I was dancing while no one was here. It's important to dance while no one's watching. Or at least to think that no one's watching while you're dancing. They tell me I'm adequate. Adequate? They tell you you're amazing! You just hit like a giant milestone on your, uh, on your channel, didn't you, Brian? It's a full-time job. Hello. I'm just gonna post that I'm doing this. Because there's no Discord. Discord is down! Oh, God! Uh, which is actually gonna hit the kids where it hurts, because that's what they love, is Discord, right? So they dance like you think no one's watching, that's it. I had, I had a whole bunch of, like, there was a little bit of flash dance happening, I was like... You gotta get the, the you gotta get the uh, air drumming in. Hello, Shadow Tux! Uh, it's, yeah, the air drumming is very important. Alright, let me just get this sent off. So I can let all me, all me nerdlings know. You know what I'm saying? You've gotta let me nerdlings know. Discord, holy moly, I really hope that's not, uh, well, because the immediate assumption is you go, oh my god, it's an act of war towards the kids, because the kids just live for that stuff. No, the kids, they live for that stuff. That's what they tell me. Okay. I think that'll do it. Let's see what happens there. It's very danceable, isn't it? Uh, half of the internet is down. Is it really? What else is down? Paper clips! Thank you! I was gonna say, wait till they come for Twitch. That's next, I guess, right? Uh, by the way, first time chat from Shadow Tux, so we should say hello to Shadow Tux. Don't you love my, look at that, salty nerds hat. Isn't that great? Love it. I gotta get me a tech vantage one like that. Uh, Pig Clips. Subscribed for 27 months. So get this, I just had to cancel all of my subscriptions. Let me see, microphone, microphone should be up. Speaker should be down. Let me just double check on the music. I kind of like having the music today for some reason. I don't know why. But if it's not too crazy annoying for people, how is like that volume? Go for fluff or not? Let's see how this sounds. Let's see what the mix is like on this. It's a lot of piano right now. Uh, my dumb typing. Uh, Krillin. How are you, Krillin? Uh, not just Discord, Spotify as well. You know, I heard that Spotify was down. Discord's Twitter said to go outside, but I didn't obey them. Yeah, the first thing I did was come downstairs. <laughs> Actually, I did go outside. I went down and cleaned up outside of, I went outside and cleaned up after the dog, which was really fun. It was a fun job. Uh, now that the snow has has disappeared, I get to go hunting for little treasures. Um, uh, what else we got? Oh no, it's just me then. Uh, yeah, oh no, uh, Melissa eighty five. It's it's down. I was uh, of course everyone's assuming that it's like their neighbor's Wi Fi is interfering or something. But the reality is that no, Discord is down, and so is Spotify apparently. Now wait a sec, Spotify is not owned by Amazon, is it? I was thinking maybe there's a connection, but probably probably not. Jack Jasra, how are you, sir? Uh, check the down detector. Yeah, how we we should do that actually. Check the down detector. Down detector. Down, down detector. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm guessing that's getting a lot of hits right now. Okay. Uh, down detector. So red, red, red. AWS services. Is that right? Are they down? Um. Amazon services outages reported in the last 24 hours. So it looks like maybe it's an, is, are they using AWS? Is Discord using AWS? I guess it must be. Yeah, the spike is almost exactly the same. So I'm guessing that the problem is actually AWS then, I'm imagining. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I've got any Spotify. Uh, just so people can see what's going on. I guess I could share this, I could share this window, couldn't I? Um, it's not browser. It's going to be. Where is it? Browser source? No, not browser source. Just a window. I just want to share a window. Let me share a window with you. Oh my god, I've been watching The Tourist, this series on Amazon. Um, and, uh, oof. I mean, I have issues. <laughs> I have issues with it. But, but those are nothing compared to how much fun it is to watch. Um, yeah, just a really fun fun process. Okay, I want to add a source. Uh, add a new source instead. Okay. Let 
let me just see if I can do, I don't want to do that. I'd rather do the down detector. There you go, that's what we want. So this is, uh, here's the down detector for you. You see what's going on? Where can I put that up here? Pop this up here. I am really big. Why am I really big? I'm so big today. Uh, I've been messing around with things. I think I can, well, let's see what happens if I do this. So let's have a look at Discord. Let's have a look at Discord and see what's going on there, shall we? User reports indicate problems at Discord, okay. But what, what are they? What are these problems of which they speak? Um, let's see. Yep, I don't understand baseline reports. You said a huge spike of reported downs at like just after one. How's everyone else doing? Discord is back! Woo woo! Is it back? Well, let's check. Mine's not back yet. Yeah, maybe it is. Nope, mine's not back. Fail to load, try again. You know what, I may actually just stop it and bring it back. Uh, it's so weird how you get so used to having these things, right? You get so used to having these um, applications available to you. It makes you wonder if we're a little too dependent on them. Like, I sort of think like, well, what it, I want to be able to detect bandits without, you know, without all these big companies being, you know, essential. Yeah, it's not back for me either. Um, uh, oh, Mandy Chan 21, it is back. First time chatter. Thank you, Mandy Chan 21. Everyone, you can welcome Mandy Chan 21 because they're a new a new viewer, but I should say hi to World Productions and uh, XF Kirsten, Wolves Den, Krillin, Untidy Tech, of course, powered by ZPMs, don't you wish we were, Anima Confuser, Randy the Magic Man, England 91, who else? Who else we got here then? Jack Jasper, of course, the fabulous Jack Jasper. Everyone should be following Jack Jasper, by the way. Shadow Tux, I think I've said hi to you before. Um, if I got everyone? Melissa85, um, Hapshade, wow, oh, Discord's working for Hapshade, how nice for you. We got Breeziker, Breeziker, uh, I think someone's hacked the internet, who knows, maybe, could be, could be. Cribble Wasser, 1985, 500 bits, thank you very much. Go for Flufferdut, of course, like the hat, isn't it great? That is the Salty Nerds hat, it's a pretty cool hat, isn't it? Total trucker hat, I kind of like it. Uh, Krillin64 is actually doing very good today. That's good. That's good. Just reset itself for me. Okay, let's try it again then. Let's try our little Discord again and see what happens. Hey, I've also got to go. Oh. I'm still failing to load. Still failing to load. Oh, nope. We're back. We're back. We are back. Sweet. It's back. All right. So I could just announce to the. I'm going to let the, uh, the tech bandits know what's going on. I thought it'd be kind of weird to do a tech bandits without the tech bandits. So will it let me, will it let me continue my message or is it gonna make me do my message again? It's gonna make me do my message again, isn't it? Well, oh, will they find out soon enough that we're live? Okay. Yeah, it's been weird. It's been weird. Spending a lot of time doing my doom scrolling and such. Uh, the last few days, just, uh, just sort of in awe at the, I don't know, how brutal we can be to each other. Um, kind of miserable, to be honest. Um, okay, let's see if I can maybe let the nerds know. Gotta let the tech bandits know what's going on. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna cut and paste this in so I got a little message for them. Please feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Copy, let's do that. Let's do this. Just uh, so that Discord is back. Here we go. Okay. Discord is back. All right. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Throw that out there. Yep. And then let's throw this one out as well. Just let everybody know.
Okay. All right. My social obligations are done. Um, he says, being socially obligated. Hype train is close. What, there's a hype train? I look away for a second. Ah, uh, wolf pup. You've wasted all of your money on Eden, on Elden Ring, and you love it. Uh, well, that's... Baz is like... I think Baz is like bought it and then sent it back and bought it and sent it back a couple of times because he's just not sure he wants to commit to that much time, I think. Um, most, do most dope mama. Hey, David. Happy to be here. Thank you very much, Most Dope Mama. Good to see you, too. Joke's on you. I'm in VC. In VC. Voice chat. There you go. It's back. It's back. Uh, okay. Jack Jasper is totally hooked to Elden... Elden... What's it called again? Elden Ring? I never get it right. I want to say Elven Rings for some reason. Um... Laptop cannot handle it. Powered by ZPMs. But you're powered by ZPMs. Got the meteorite ore blade. Wow. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very cool. Still hooked on Horizon Forbidden West. Elton Ring will be after. Uh, Melissa85 still having trouble with Discord. I uh, booted it. I, I like. I basically just shut it all down and turned it back on again. It came back up okay. Um, all right. Co-op help. Oh, there you go. Jack Jester is offering his co-op help for the uh, for Elden Rings. Uh, maybe sometime tomorrow. Look at he's already making plans. James Gurney. Hello, one and all. And there, of course, that from the one and all, James Gurney. World Production, subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much. Okay, you're already using the tech ba one grump. <laughs> I'm already using the emotes. I love it. Uh, okay, Melissa's got it working good. I thought that was it. It was just about re... It was just about re restarting it, really. Okay, this music is uh, really boring. So I'm going to go change this down. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to stop it. I'm just going to stop this damn music. Who needs music when we can have conversation? Let's go to Discord. See if I can pop in and say hello to the banditos. Vibe pup. Vibe pup. Hello? How you doing? I'm doing good. I just got Elden Ring. I absolutely love it. What is it that you love about it so much? I honestly don't know. I just love it. It's, is it, like, do you feel, like, sort of lost while you're playing it? Do you feel sort of like you're in another world, or, or... I feel, I don't know why, but I just feel like I, it's not fun if I don't stop playing the game. I are you dreaming about it at night? Yes. <laughs> oh, see, I used to get that on some of the games. Uh, Captain Catherine, thank you very much. Oh, my God, look, at Captain Catherine's throwing around subs everywhere. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Like, I restarted the game uh, twice because it's my first Souls game, so I made mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I will those come back to haunt you forever type thing? or? Yeah. Hmm. I invested all my points mm. into everything around, but I wasn't supposed to do that. As a prisoner, I was going for strength instead of dexterity and intelligence. Right. So massive so now, strength, but not so smart. Pardon? How does that? So you got massive strength, but not so smart. How does that affect the gameplay, though? Oh, uh, like you can't use certain weapons. Oh, so you gotta be you gotta be smart enough to use certain weapons. Yeah, cause like my my class right now is samurai, cause mm. cause that's freaking I helped, cool. I helped Baz a bit yesterday. Just oh, like, is he back on, on it again? Cause he was sort of going back and oh, wait, whoa, whoa, hype chat, hype, whatever the hell it is. Holy I moly, can't. what just happened? Wow, the wet the wasta. Just gave 500 bits to party, 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 party. Thank you very much. And of course, powered by ZPM's gifting subs. Da Wasta? Da Wasta? Da Wasta? How would you say that? Da Wasta? Or Da Wasta? Da Wasta. Da Wasta. Da Wasta. Da Wasta. Da Da Wasta. Da Wasta. Could be that. Putting into Google Translate. 500 bits. Holy moly, you're throwing bits around. Somebody's falling asleep on the bits button. And then, of course, Captain Catherine's being fantastic, too. The waste stuff around is the how Google Translate says it. Oh, what, is, what do they say? They say it's the waste. It is the waste? Like, yeah. namesta. Namasta? I don't know how to say that either, the waste. Namaste, but it 
It's like raining so, bits. Holy moly. Someone said, Doista Do said, it's German like nama Namaste. So namaste. Like, so, Dawaste. Dawaste. So, like, Dawaste. What is it? Does it mean anything? Yeah. World Productions wants to ask a question about physics. You're asking the wrong person, but, but you know, ask I, away. I'm sure someone in the in the stream chat will tell you. I might know a small bit about that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wolf Pup might know some physics. Are you doing physics yet? Do you have a natural physics class at school yet? No, I just research st like stuff like that. I find it's it fun, really isn't interesting. It? Yeah, me too. I just I go down the rabbit hole in that. Today I was looking at um, uh, different sources of energy because I realized like we've oh. got like a war going on, and if we I don't know if we've actually done it or not yet, but we're talking about cutting off what is it the I think it's only like seven percent or something of, of the oil that we buy from from uh, Russia. Um, but we're only cutting off seven percent. Well, we're, I think we're cutting off all of our Russian, well, all the American stuff. I'm talking about America right now. But America buys, I think it's only, it's like a very small, not a very small, but it is a small percentage. But it's going to have a huge impact, I'm sure, on prices and stuff. So I started thinking like, okay, so we seem to get into a lot of wars around, you know, oil and stuff. So maybe, uh, and it seems to be used against us a lot whenever we get into conflicts with people. Uh, you know, maybe it's a good idea to maybe get off this stuff. So I was looking at different options, which I thought was interesting. Uh, okay, so the POTUS announced officially today there is no more Russian imports. Wow. Yeah, by, I watched that because I'm yeah. really interested in that. I I watched wow. the thing where he was saying that. So they produce 12% of global gas. Produce 12% of global gas. Yeah, okay, so what percentage of that is America, though? I'd be curious to know. Can anyone tell me that? Uh, so you, you watched Biden make this announcement, did you, Wolf Pup? Yeah, I watched it with my dad. It's good to know what's going on, isn't it? My, me and my dad like to like keep track of what's happening, because I find it, I find it scary how we still don't know what's happening. Mm. You should listen to but the OSINT stuff on um, on Twitter. There's like these. I don't have Twitter. What? Does your dad have Twitter? Yeah. Get your dad to play well, it. It's it's got to well, be on the I iPhone. I mean, it's got to be on the phone. But it's, I just want to say, I am streaming Elden Ring in the Discord, so you can basically see what the game is. See what the game looks like. By, Let me see if I can share that. Not played by someone who's really good at it. Uh, is anyone really good at it yet? Uh, yeah. Oh, there are? It's a Souls game, so there's a it's ton of people Souls who are good at it. Game. Okay, wait a second. Let's see what I've got here. Dark Souls. Um, Let me see if I can share this. Hey, I forgot my little avatars. How did I forget them? That's no fun. Um, yeah, we don't have a car. Like, I mean, not that it, I know it's going to impact more than just that, but we don't have a car. So that's one less thing to worry about, though. You know, we do we do pay to get around every so often. Auto connect. Oh, one thing oh. that I want to say that confuses me is mm. how electric cars, now that gas prices are going up, electric cars are also going up. So it's making it harder for us to help the earth. Mm. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Because I guess you still need a lot of these gas-powered, you know, technologies and stuff to build these things, right? I mean, where the yeah. it's such a part of the way we live our lives right now that it's kind of hard to just just automatically stop using it, right? Um, I mean, I don't think anyone's suggesting that we just stop using gas, but I mean, eventually it'd be nice to. So there you go. America buys about two hundred and forty-five million barrels a year from Russia, roughly eight percent of their imports. There you go. So I under I underestimated by one percent. It was eight percent of their imports. So that's, um, I mean, that's, you know, that's a big that's a big chunk. That's almost as much as my agent takes. Um, so that will, I'm sure, is going to make a difference. And 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 I mean, the amount of sanctions and companies pulling out of Russia right now is just uh, kind of extraordinary. UK phasing out all Russian oil by the end of the year. Yes, Hapshade, but they're also not allowing um, not allowing refugees, or they're not helping refugees get to the UK, which I was a bit a bit sad to hear. First time catching the stream. Just finished a 14-hour night shift in Australia. Hoo -hoo! Sandwich 22. You came to the right place. You want to be truly confused. This is the place to be. Um, wow, 14-hour night shift. What were you doing in Australia, Sandwich 22? And everyone... First time chat, Sandwich 22, say hi. Um, I twisted Triffid. Um, poorly, it is not directly testable. Until we can test it directly or indirectly, we can't really call it science. It is a beautiful idea. What's this? We're replying to world something. Where is it? Uh, I've missed world production. 
It's more of an opinion, I, I can, really. I can. What do you think of string theory as a candidate for a theory of quantum gravity? That I don't know much of those words, but I'm just gonna read out the thing because you don't know how to. Yeah, I mean, replies. it's it's still it's still very much it's still very much being debated, is it not? I mean, this the whole string theory thing. I love the idea of it. I mean, what I the tiny tiny little portion of it that I understand, um, but uh, uh, it just seems it seems like so beyond me as a as a construct to understand to understand what the hell it actually means. I, as I as I say, I love the I love the idea behind it, um, but uh, you know I'm not sure what's you know what's the best. We should look it up. See what the best description of it is. Um, like string theory for for string theories for actors. String theory. There we go. Let's see if this is a very simple description. There you go. In physics, string theory is a theoretical framework. See, already they're getting out the big words. In which the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects called strings. The string theory describes how these strings propagate through space and interact with each other. Right. So it's just a different way of looking at particles, I guess. Um, oh, there you go. Look, here's what string theory in simple terms. That's what I need. Uh, it's the idea that reality is made up of infinite Tis, inf, oh, my, inf, inf, oh my god, I can't say it. Infinitesimal? Infi, infi, infinite, infinitesimal? Is that what it is? Infinitesimal? Infinitesimal vibrating yeah. strings smaller than atoms, electrons, or quarks. Wow. Inf, I can't say that word. I can never say that. Infin, that? Say it again? Okay, I have no... Infinitesimal. 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 There you go. Um, that's the... Thank God I had you here. Uh... Yeah, this is so. I had a guy. There was a guy who wrote a play. A guy who wrote a play, who then went on to start a math foundation. But he he studied string theory, and he was uh, uh, he was very enamored with this whole idea. And there's something very beautiful about it, I think, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, certainly something to look at. Anyways, James Gurney, interesting. Well, it's complicated to summarize, but yes and no for the testing part. It's just that we can't really scale it up to the larger scale, so many dimensions, but maybe it could be solved. I mean, eventually someone will figure something out, I'm sure. And that is the guy who shot out all the Technobabble on Stargate. Yeah, no con no, no, kidding, Anima Confusa. I need some time to work out these words, you know. End of the day. Um, string theory has led to advancements in understanding in other fields. Oh, there you go. That's good. Like what? Powered ZPM. What else is it? What else has it got for us? Uh, first time chat. Serious for it. I was just talking about a show that shoots out there in Australia called uh, The Tourist, which is really good. Uh, well, at least the first couple of episodes I've really enjoyed. Uh, must be time for Aussies to view. Just about to go to bed here. 3.48 a.m. Man, there's like crazy and then there's Australian crazy. Now, Australian crazy stays up till 3.48 a.m. Uh, well, good to have you, Sirius for it. And everyone, say hello. First time viewers. Um, what else? Another first time chat. Commander Simon, Western Australia. What is going on in Australia? You guys got nothing better to do than watch this? That's, that's you know, there's got to be more happening at 3.50 a.m. in Australia. Uh, from Sydney. Not really. That's, that's like midnight. That's there. pretty freaking old. That's pretty freaking early, isn't it? Oh, I loved Australia. You ever been to Australia, Wolf Pup? Uh, no, this is actually the farthest I've been from Ontario. Really? Is New Brunswick? Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Amazing place, Australia. And New Zealand as well, for that matter. If you're in that neck of the woods, you might as well go to, you might as well go to New Zealand as well. But man, oh, very impressive place. Uh, okay, New York. Oh, yeah. K McCabe, we, the New York area is good for you too. I got to quite like that as well. But I got to say, it's very hard to beat Australia. It's just... It's just another world. Um, all right, I don't know if you remember, but there's two episodes, Stargate Atlantis, in which you mentioned quantum gravity, so that got my attention. Ah, there you go, world production. Uh, so you probably watched it more times than I have at this point. Jack Jasper says, oh, by the way, we could sometimes work out our follower emotes. We have five slots for emotes that every follower can use here. Aha, Jack Jasper has found a deficiency in the, in the number of emotes that I've got. All right, I was going to get your Discord thing going, wasn't I? Let's have a look. Let me go into our chat. There we go. Uh, do I just lose that? Where's my little streaming chat? I need to turn down the noise in my game. What did you just say? Okay, let me go. Let me go. I said, where did the, I wasn't sure where the chat's gone. Okay, here you go. So I've got the. Da, 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 there you go. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Where's the. Where did I put it? Game capture, that's fine. Browser source, that's fine. Discord goodness. All right, is that the one? Oh, yeah, it is the one. Okay, great. So I can move that around. All right, this is all on you. 
Right, you're this you're is up in the corner. I'm in the harder part of the game when I haven't even defeated Margit because I got the meteoric ore blades. Now mm -hmm. I'm just I'm grinding up. There's this area on the map right here where there's a just a ton of enemies that are easy to kill that give you a ton of runes, which is basically your money and XP. Okay. Money and XP. Okay. All right. Because so is this like a grinding game? Like, do you have to do a lot of work? Uh, depends on how you're going to play the game. Right. Well, probably badly, knowing me. Because I could have... I could What have is that ghosty guy a... there? Oh, uh, those are other players playing the game. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's, there's I... other... But you, can you work together to kill beasts and things? No, that's just... Well, you can. That's co-op. But that's just some random person who you can just see what they're doing because mm. sometimes you go into a dangerous area that you don't really know is dangerous but that person like, who's trying to who's way, jumping around at you right now that was actually a that was actually a boss of some sort or was that actually yeah another... that, this is a player right there did you see him just disappear right but what about this guy who's attacking you right now oh this is a ai oh okay all right okay so so but I don't understand, though. Like, if someone else was in that scene, right? Like, if someone else was there, one of those ghostly figures, one of those other players they, is there. Do they, they see, see you me. fighting? Yeah, they see me fighting, but they don't see the enemy that I'm fighting. Like, that guy was just swiping at air. Oh. According to them. Yeah. To me, they were just swiping at air, but to them, they were fighting an enemy. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay. All right. So you see it's them sort of waving around and stuff, but they're they're actually fighting an enemy like you are, and they don't see. So right now they would just see you hitting the ground. Unless the very rare chance of the enemy that I'm fighting is directly there on their screen also. I see. All right. Which is unlikely. But you can do, you can work together on things? Like you, you can work as a, as a team? There are certain spots where you can use... The, one second. I need to find it after I get this golden nerd. If you go to your inventory, there is an item called... Where is it? Oh, Discord has emotes, too. One second. I'm trying to find it, and I'm having trouble some. That's okay. Some I mean, are you okay if I... I'm just going to keep sharing your your uh, window, so don't, uh, you know... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going through my... Don't show me your homework or anything. I don't have homework. Are you it's getting homework? Break. It's March break. Oh, you're on March break now? Yeah. Baz's March break isn't until next week. Oh. Do you have like a week or two weeks? Uh, I don't know now. You don't know how long you've got for holidays? No. Really? I God, I used to count the days. I knew exactly how many days off I had. Oh, that's why I've got noises in my ear. I've still got, a, I've okay, still got my other so earpiece I... on. I can't find the item, but basically what it is, it's a finger. Oh, here it is. You use the tarnished wizened finger to no. write. I don't want to a tarnished messages. wizened finger. Like I can write messages to people that like there's a lot of them that say funny stuff like because you can say. So you can communicate with other players. Yeah, but okay. like, wait, I'll I'll try to find one. There are just little, like, messages on the ground that you can look at if you want. Because, right. like... Ghostly they're, messages? They're just on the floor, and they're, like, white. So, yeah, I guess ghostly. They're just these white little messages on the floor that say... Like, you can say, enemies ahead, try stealth instead. Mm. Type things? Oh, my God, that rhymed. Like, there's a lot... Of, oh, right here. It's pretty I'm beautiful. I'm off the edge. Like, this person made this, and it says time for bow, or bow. Oh. Uh, so, oh, really? So it's like, hey, yeah. use that to, oh. Oh, that's nice. Um, there's a dragon there. I was going to say, I'm not I'm sure I'd gonna... fire a bow at that thing. It looks pretty big. I'm just going to get away from that. I didn't know there was that's a dragon That's me tips, there. though. I see. Okay, that's cool. Happy International Women's Day. Oh, yes. That's right. International Women's Day. I forgot about that. And all the excitement about losing Discord. There was a, people you know. say stuff like jumping, which because now you can jump in this game. You didn't used to be able to jump in Souls games, so they say like jumping at edges, trying mm. to get you to jump off. Oh, really? 
Oh, yeah. so there's also, like, of course, there's also trolls just trying to screw up your game. Yeah, there's, at the church, I'll go over there and just show you after I level up. How do you get around, by the way? You just have to walk, or do you do you teleport? Oh, you can you... fast travel. Uh, fast travel being what? Like, do you... I just go to my map, go oh, over to... Like, this is the third church of Marika, but I saw a funny one here earlier, the church of Ella. Mm hmm Oh, and... so you don't have to actually walk across that whole space. Or do no, you the you first time? No, you have horse. Okay. The first time you have to, but I have a horse also. I... Where the hell did that come from? I got this by accepting Where were you keeping that horse? Wife. It's a ring. Is that Santa Claus sitting by a fire? Like this, this is, could be a, could this be a dog? And this says this. I'm just gonna walk away from that. What is it? What the hell are they doing? What did it say? Oh, wait, okay. I'll go back so you can read. I can't. I can't. Just, it's too small just for me. Read that message. Wait. Is it a rude message? I'll just type it in chat. If only I had a giant butthole. Yes. That's what you they. Got it correct. Boy, as always, <laughs> the height of intelligence when it comes to people posting in video games. If only I had a giant butthole. That's really interesting. Okay. And then there's this guy here, which yeah. you can talk to to get different stuff. But he doesn't really give you anything, so right. I kind of want to kill him because then I can go get better How items How unlike from you someone. to want to kill everybody. Where is the okay, I just talked to this guy, but I didn't listen to what he said, so now I just lost valuable information. So what, they don't repeat stuff? No. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. So, There's... but is this now? Is this like a game though that you're gonna have to spend like literally weeks working on? Uh, depends. You can just complete it all in one playthrough if you play for multiple hours at end. Right. Like over here, there's this little island there. But I'm gonna head to. Like, you can do little markers. Like, at the top of my screen, you see that it says one there. Hmm. I don't, but I... I mark I, it, I and then I go to the one. map, and there's a one there. So, I'm going to go here, because that's normally where a secret is that those little things on the map. Hmm. So, I'm going to head there and... Oh, that poor goat. He never it did anything. He did it nothing to you. Oh, it gives you runes. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Like, this is how fast horse travel is. You can speed it up by pressing B, but I always forget to do that for some reason. Yeah, Melissa85, Baz picked it up for a bit, and then and then he actually got his money back, because he's like, I'm just not going to spend, I'm not going to spend enough time on it. But I think he may have picked it up again. There's, like, there's a relentless barrage of people telling you how amazing this game is. I, of yeah, course, I, I get I sick just it. seeing it in the top corner of my screen, so I ain't going to be playing it. Um, I talked to him yesterday about this game, oh, yeah. and... Did he end up he going beat, back on it? Yeah, he beat Margaret. He beat... That's the first boss. Oh, he did. Okay, all right. And what is what is the first boss? What is it? What is like? How, what form does it take? Uh, It's a guy with a bunch of different dead people's arms on him. Mm. That's kind of creepy. And the, sec the second boss is my favorite by a long shot. Mm. Called? He... I'm not going to really... Well, this isn't really... You see it everywhere on the internet right now, so if you don't want to hear spoilers about Godric, uh, close your ears. So who's the first one? Uh, Margaret. Oh, the second a, boss, halfway here. through the fight, he cuts off his arm. Ew. And he puts a dragon oh. head on it. Oh, that is kind of cool. Is that the weird... Wait, so let me see if I can show you the... If I can show this to you. Um... Oh, he's still alive. Sorry, I thought this guy was dead, but he's not. Is this... Is this the thing? Oh, I got killed. Is it that weird thing I... with, like, weird arms and legs sticking out of it? Yeah, that's the first boss. That is Margaret. I can go show you him. I can't kill him. That is... I, I that's suck at this creepy. game. I... But I need to go get my runes back, so just one second. And then I, who is the I next one? I died. Uh, Godric the Gas. This is Godric. guys the tech, technical the. Oh, this Godric guy's the technically the go. first guy. I should so much damage to him. Wait, can I take him? Can't see. Okay. 
How do you know if you can take um, them or not? Because I just did a crap ton of damage with my first shot. Oh. Is that them? No, I cannot take him. Y yes, I can. He didn't do any damage. I thought he had lots of arms. No, this is the tree sentinel. This is technically like the first boss, but the first boss that you have to go through to progress mm. is Margaret. Oh, I see. So you get points what? for killing other bosses, but there's actual, like... Yeah, this guy gives me a faith-based weapon, so I probably shouldn't kill him because I'm dexterity and right. intelligence. So yeah, I'm not going to kill him because I don't want to lose all my runes. Right. Because so... once you die, you drop your runes. Oh, you have to then... start all over again. No, you have to go get your runes Oh, back. what did you... Did you just ride oh, off a... I just died again. You just rode off a cliff. I just lost all my runes. I thought I could survive the fall. <laughs> So you just jumped off a cliff and died, and now you've lost all your stuff, and you got to start all over again? No, I don't have to start all over again. I just lost my runes. What does that mean, though? The runes? That sounds like points or something. It sounds like something you need. Yeah, it's XP slash money. Like, if I go to this guy, I can get... Like, he says, wait, weren't you, because I just died, and I can sell my stuff to him. Right. But I can sell him my golden runes, because I just got them. And this one gives me 300, the one that says 3. This one gives me 200, and this one gives me 800. No, mm -hmm. this one gives me 100. Basically, what they do is... It looks beautiful, I gotta say. I mean, it's just and a gorgeous is, looking this is game. A t this, is, this is on a 1080, and I'm streaming it. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it still looks beautiful. The streaming yeah. sunlight and the flowers and the, the plants and stuff. No, it's... But, like, this is... It just I makes used to, me sick. It just makes me feel queasy. On, you say that a lot about a ton of different I can't stuff. play games anymore. I'm like, I'm screwed. Um, like, this is... This is the first difficult part you'll experience. This okay. area. Yeah. Why are you, I, what are you sneaking up on? You're sneaking up on a caravan. Oh. Oh! Ow, that's gonna hurt. Like, you can backstrike people. I need to figure out how to get a somber smithing stone, so I'm going to... Bass was saying you that. need a console uh, uh, controller. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. Oh, really? Um, and I'm surprised, though. It doesn't look like a console game. It looks like it would be better on a on PC. Oh, uh, wait. I'm going to unplug the controller and just show you how confused I get playing. Like, this is my first attack. I'm just gonna, wait, I'm gonna plug attack. it back in so I can kill that guy. Mm. But then I'll show you the. I can't get the thing in the to start the controller. I just okay, can't remember how all the little separate blades of grass are moving and like I mean it's just it's just pretty. Like this guy here, you wanna. Well, I. You if you progress far enough through the game, you get something called a flask of wonders, phys physic or psychic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What was the word I was but trying to say before? In infinitesimal? Infinitesimal, that's it. That was the word I was trying to say. There's always a word or two that I just cannot get out of my head without lots of practice. Okay, I'm just going to run away. I am doing terrible against this guy. So how do you know how bad you're doing? Where is where is it telling you? Oh, I see. Top bar up there. I see. So you just sucked back a, a Gatorade, and now you're fine. Oh, I, wow, that's good. I accidentally gonna... went to do a Why did you run in his, you ran into it, you running off cliffs, running into his sword? Ah, that's some fancy moves there. That's some fancy circle, but he doesn't know what's going on now. He's like, I, this guy's crazy. He's like, I'm not going in for that. Will he attack you or do you have to attack him? Yeah, He's... that's why this guy's hard to kill because he does stuff like that. It's hard to punish him. Hmm. Do you okay, have to get behind his shield, or do you have to get... What do you have to... There's a thing called... I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go to sleep while he's trying to kill me. You go to... Well, that just seems like a foolish move when you're being attacked by someone. You have to go to yeah, sleep. Yeah, if I just go over here, he stops fighting me, so... Like, I'll try to show you me on a horse against him. That's a lot easier. Oh, I can summon a wolf. Oh, see, there you go. Jack Jasper prefers the mouse and keyboard. Oh... I much prefer controller. Ow. Yeah, Baz prefers controller too. Um, ah, like if I, Maniac Miner, I remember that. Oh, that like if great. I sneak up behind this guy, I can just spin around him and confuse him and get hit off. But there, you 
if you say you have to say yes or no to getting this horse. Mm -hmm. What are those wolf things? Oh, uh, they're on my team. They're on I your think. team? I think no. that the spirit wolves are on my team, but those real wolves aren't. Jesus, it's so conf I'm confused already. Where all these people come from? Uh, they were just around this camp. Holy mother. Okay, wow, this looks like a lot of work. And you're saying it's not just about, like, slash and burn. You actually, you have to sort of, like, outsmart them and things. Yeah. Or learn their moves. Yeah, that's mainly against bosses. Like, Ooh. this guy, if I... Ooh, if double I want, shot. Yeah. Nice work. That's two and one. Like, you have to wait until you can punish them. Like, mm -hmm. I am really easy to... Like, these guys are hard to punish because they attack. Right. Okay, after I say that, I two shot. Nice, them. all right. Well, you, once you get the once you get their rhythm down, you can you can take them out. Yeah, but like this wolf here, all I have to do to take it out is just sneak up behind because they suck at figuring out where you are. So I can just go. VR Gimp Thirty One's reminding me of the days when there were just two buttons. I used to just play two buttons. It was just easier. So much easier. Oh my god. The wolves are nice. Hi. Ah. Uh, Every, you just befriend the wolves. Oh. Someone else coming out around the corner. Man, how many, like, and then will you get, you'll get points for each one of these people you just killed. Yeah. Wow. Man, I can see hours going on this. Um, I, hours I already, and hours. What do you clock so far? I like, I'm pretty sure eight, and I've only had this for, like, two days. Eight hours. That is, that's going to add up very quick. But no, I've heard a lot of people are a lot of people are saying amazing things about it. Oh so. no. Um, hey, what do you think about um, nuclear power? Uh, I don't, I don't really know because like it hurts the world. That's the thing that I don't like about it. It hurts the world in the in that if it goes wrong, you mean or or yeah, like in the Chernobyl way. Right. Right. But I was. What's funny was I've you know I've I heard a lot of that as well. Someone said that there are the number of people who get hurt in dams, building of dams, was huge too. Um, and I thought that was interesting too. That the idea that that building dams is actually it turns out to be, if you count up the number of people who actually died of it, there was I, I can't remember the actual stats on it. I should have I should I should look them up, shouldn't I? Um, Probably before you be like before I start making one... stuff up. 1,000 people have died making dams just this minute. Huh. You... But right. I just want to say one more thing that well, there's I there's dam find failure. Cool. I just want to say one more thing that I find cool about Elden Ring. You can find these blood stains, and when you touch it, you get to see how somebody died. Hmm. Like, I'm going to go over to this one here. This guy was on his horse... And he just got speared off his horse. It's hard to tell because I'm looking at numbers here on, on Wikipedia, of course. Um, and they're saying things like, you know, there's like dams in Yemen where where the failure of the irrigation system caused 50,000 people to have to move. Um, list of number of. What is this? Wow, that was way back in 575. Um, wow, it goes way, way back. I don't know how they get these numbers. Okay. So let's have a look at, like, let's say, let's look at a Canadian one. So there must be a Canadian. There you go. British Columbia, Mount Polly. British Columbia, 2014. Uh, Tailings Dam collapsed due to negligent operation. Reservoir was overfilled beyond uh, combined minor dam breach a few months later. Fundamental design flaws. Okay, so, but uh, no deaths. No deaths. Um, you know, I know there were some deaths on a couple of Chinese, um, dams. Um, but I only know that because of a, uh, because of a documentary that I had to do some voice stuff for. Um, I'm just curious to know, there you go, China. Okay. So extreme rainfall beyond the plan design capital. This was the bank Kuao? and Shimantan dams in China. So this was in 1975. There were 240... What? Why can't this goat roll? 240,000 people died 
in a dam collapse in China in 1975. You know that? Oh, wow. 11 million people lost their homes. Whoa. That's insane. That's the worst one I've seen. The next one was in India, which is 5,000 people died, which all of a sudden doesn't seem like that huge number, but it's 5,000 people. The actual observed flow following the intense rainfall three times what the dam was designed for resulted in this collapse, 762 meters. They would collapse within 20 minutes, the floods. Oh, wow. Inundated the low-lying areas of Morbi Industrial Town located at 5 Wow. So I guess what I'm saying is, again, I don't know how many people have died in, you know, in, in nuclear-related re- accidents. Let's have a look at that. Um, well, I guess you can't really count. <laughs> I mean, we're not counting the bombs, though, right? Is that right? I They're just all- need to quickly say something. Mm. Uh, John P7 just gifted me a sub, so thank oh, you. <laughs> that's very nice, John P7. Thank you very much. What else we got in here? Untidy text being resubscribed. Wait, Thank you, you very much. You gave me a subscriber badge also. Wow. Oh, I don't even know what that means, but that's great. Hey, Shepard17 is following now as well. So is little Charlie, Hapis91, SushimLive2, Sirius Furret. We already knew that, I think. Um, nuclear power is actually quite safe. The bigger problem is the radioactive waste it produces. If you're just in the scale of that problem, you shouldn't read, watch a bit about the Yucca Mountain facility in Nevada. You should read, watch a bit about the Yucca Mountain facility in Nevada. Yes. I mean, that's the, I mean, that's, that's sort of the issue, isn't it? It's just getting rid of the waste after. But that said, what's the, you know, look at the waste coming from oil and gas. I mean, look at the pollution that that's, that that's, uh, that that's causing. How many deaths are there in, in, you know, in cities around the world based on horrific uh, air quality because of all of the, uh, the fossil fuels being being burnt and stuff. I mean, that I, I again, I, I'm just I'm obviously very early days to this. I literally started looking into this. I mean, I've I've been interested in it for years, but but just sort of like poking around a little bit of information here and there. And I just started thinking I'd like to sort of get a better sense of what's available to us and what's you know, and what the co- the true cost of these things are, whether that's a cost because of what it actually costs like money wise or whether it's because of the impact it'll have on the environment, like how much damage is it going to do? Um, and again, or potentially just how, you know, ethically, what's the, you know, is it, is, are these, are these chemicals or materials that we need to do these things only available in, in parts of the world where, where, you know, horrible people do horrible things to people just so they can make lots of money. Right. So, um, I just want to quickly say, Lord Chunky, you might want to turn on the voice Hello. Lord Chunky! Wait, wait. Oh, yes, sir. I'm still my walk home. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I said I'd join for a little bit. And yeah. I'd probably leave because I'm sure it's a bit windy, so I'm sure my mic is quite loud. No, it sounds okay, actually. I'm surprised. What are you using? Like, just oh, uh, iPod headphones? Just my or... phone. Yeah? Just my phone. I don't have any headphones with me. I got to say, I love so... listening to Twitch on uh, on the phone when I'm walking around with a dog. It's just great. Really? Because you don't, in most cases, you don't need the, you don't need the video anyways. No, nice... yeah, I, I just like listening to Twitch streams sometimes. Yeah, that's it. Like, I rarely ever actually watch them. I'm usually doing something else and just listening yeah. to it. It's like, it's like, it's almost like how I used to listen to the radio, or some of my friends used to have the TV on the background, right? Um, mm, yeah. Uh, I bet, Lord Chunky, I bet you've got a, a thought on this. What, I mean, are you pro nuclear energy or, or against it? Or do you have any... Yes, I am. I think it's very good. You think it's very good? Um, mm-hmm. I think it has, like, it's more expensive to build, it takes longer to build. Mm-hmm. It's more of a long-term solution than it is to, I don't know, put up another gas plant mm. or something, which mm. doesn't take nearly as long. Right. So you think that that short-term gains are why everyone just keeps going with the gas stuff? Yes, I think so. It's interesting, isn't it? Because I, I started looking into a bunch of different stuff. There's, they've got these new plants, these molten salt cores. Thorium? Yeah. Or... The, have you seen those things? Mm-hmm. Those are pretty cool. It's really neat. And they have like a little fail-safe that if everything goes wrong, the bottom falls out. And it lands in a little yeah, cement. Yeah, nuclear reactors are like ones that aren't, you know, Soviet era ones are quite safe. Right, right. As long as you don't put them next to like a tsunami zone, or or, or a war make zone, make them cheaply, or, or a, a war, war zone. zone. I mean, that's they're did, all like. Did you see yeah. that the other day? They were they were actually attacking the. They're attacking power each plant. other in the power plant. Yeah, it's it's uh, crazy. That stuff that definitely worries me a bit. Hey, first time chat. Mm-hmm. Hank's razor. 
Hello, Hank's Razor. Everyone can say, welcome. Um, yeah, and one of the reasons I started looking into this was obviously because if we're going to get rid of, you know, 8% of America's fuel purchasing, as we just did, I guess, because we just, we just stopped mm -hmm. buying Russian oil, so I guess, yeah, you know. I don't think Canada didn't buy much Russian. Probably not. We probably just mostly used our own oil. I don't see why we'd sell a whole bunch of oil and buy it. Well, except places. except that we do for some reason. We do. Something. It doesn't. Yeah. I feel like the oil industry is so complicated. Weird. There's just so many people making so much money that I just don't quite. I don't really understand it entirely. Hey, yeah. Jessica Hufflepuff, first time chat. Oh my gosh! Would you look at that? It's yeah, a Baz. You should see. It's a Baz. It's I'm a, on Tech Bandits right it's now. It's a live Baz. Baz viewing? Tell him uh -huh. that Wolfpuck Baz is attacking is a giant Bandits. crab in um, in Elden Ring while we talk about nuclear know, power. Oh, Wolfpup's attacking a crab in Elden Ring. Yeah. Oh, would you look at who joined? Wow, I wonder who joined. Who joined what? You look at that. Wow. It's, um, it's Baz, join the Tech Bandits. Hey, Baz! Are you walking uh -huh. home too? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Wow. I wonder... If wonder how you'd know that. I, but then, well, I just, I was curious. I was just, everyone's like joining. Did you notice the Discord was down for a while? I, yes, did. I did. I did too. Because I had a notification and I went to check what it was and I couldn't. It was bothering me. It's <laughs> yeah, still having trouble for me. Oh, like, that it's, sucks. It's not as bad, but I still don't really know what, like, people's avatars are all in that. Like, it's having trouble. Ah. Oh, yeah. No, oh. definitely. There's some things are having, still having trouble loading. Uh, okay, a couple of first-time chatters. Too. We got Jessica Hufflepuff. Got to say hi to her. Um, it's a shame they can't neutralize the spent fuel. It remains radioactive for thousands of years. Yeah, but the thorium one remains... Is it 500 years? Or is it half-life of 500 years? Either way, too long, but still. Mm -hmm. Again, how long does the pollution that we've created with all of the fossil fuels stay in the... In the, in the probably yeah, just as long. You know? Actually, yeah, probably, probably not just as long. Probably not as long, but, yeah. but still. Yeah. Probably not long. In the <laughs> short term, it's doing yeah. some considerable damage. Uh, we've also got uh, Lepa Lintu. I would never have imagined watching Dr. McKay streaming on Twitch. A hundred bits. That's <laughs> how excited they are to see Rodney McKay, who's not Rodney McKay at all. Because you should. You missed the part where they asked me a physics question. I was like, I, I like I string theory. Sounds Bye. cool. Um, Baz, what's your take on nuclear power? Uh, oh. You think we um, should? You think it's something worth going for, or or or? Uh, 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 Baz, you're still with my line of sight. You should probably answer yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. peer pressure cool. involved. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before Chunky no, I joined, I, I actually I said I don't really know about it. You don't really know about uh -huh. nuclear power? Yeah. Cause well, when you were in Ontario, you were getting a chunk of your power from from uh, the Pickering power plant. Ontario? What do we have? We have like... 50% nuclear, is at least 50? in Toronto. Is it really? I think Toronto is 50. I'm not sure, though. Huh. Well, there you go. That is based off of a number I might have heard once randomly. That is based on a number a that ago. I just made up. Uh-huh, exactly. Um, okay. I guess my question is just that I, I still can't believe that we can't figure out how to use, like, wind and solar and tides and geothermal. Like, why can't we just use a bunch of different things and then have – have that sort everything out instead of having to build these giant plants in the first place. I don't know why. Anyway. Sorry, are you trying to go? Are you trying to? Are you trying to bail? Are you trying to get out of here? No, no, I just I'm outside and I'm on the phone, so I'm gonna leave. Oh, very good. All right, so maybe we'll see you in the in the real chat. Um, unless if you got tons of homework yeah. today, if you guys get given homework. Yeah. yeah. I don't get homework. Maybe. Don't rub it in. You know, Wolfpup's on holiday now, Baz. Oh, he just left. He's gone. There you go. Um, I can't see the Discord, so I don't know. Um, uh, I just, I feel like there was, a, there was actually a really interesting point that was made by um, this YouTuber. I can't remember his name now. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was like 2-Bit Da Vinci, I think it was. Really fun, like fun channel to watch. Talks all about energy and different energy sources and stuff. And one of the things that he said which I thought was a really interesting point that I never even thought of was that we should get, we should get batteries and slap them on the side of the house, even if we don't have solar. Isn't that neat? The idea being that you could buy energy when it's cheap and then, you know, charge up the battery. And then you could use that power when energy is expensive to buy from the grid type thing. 
Um, so he was suggesting that even if you don't have solar power, you should just get one of these, one of these giant battery units to, to, to run the house. I have no idea how expensive they are. Um, I know Tesla does one, but Tesla's only compatible with the Tesla. I think you have to buy the Tesla solar panels in order to have the Tesla, whatever it's called, power block or power brick or whatever it is. Whereas there are other ones you can get that are sort of obviously more sort of open source and you can use different solar panels and stuff. So, uh, the Tesla roof is gorgeous looking, I've got to say. If it works, I think it's freaking genius. Uh, Microsoft is using wave power to power their underwater data centers. Oh, that's cool. So the, again, that like, I feel like if we could just have lots of little different ways of generating a little bit of power here, a little bit of power there, given that so much of our stuff runs on so little power now anyways, I feel like we should be able to, I feel like we could, if we just, I mean, if we just took an interest, I think it would, it would help us out. I th I'm hoping, you know, a little tiny little bit of silver lining to this whole war thing is that, uh, is that maybe it will, it will sort of like be the impetus for people to, to make that move to get off this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, the camera, <coughs> camera is frustratingly trying to autofocus all the time. So let me see if I could change that. I don't know if that's making me ill or if it's just Elden rings in the background. <sighs> I get... It's that weird thing of like, I get motion sickness and then I get the yawny where you don't get enough, I don't get enough oxygen. Um, it's that weird response that I get from, uh, from, um, from motion sickness. Okay, where is it? Logitech, can I control the camera? Let's have a look. Oh, configure video. Dun, dun, where dun. Am I? Okay, I'm configuring video, but where did it go? There's a configure, ah, oh, there you go. It always pops up in a weird I just got to a secret spot in Elden Ring. Focus. Auto. No, don't auto focus. Stay right there. So if I will go out of focus here. All right, I think that's auto focus is off now, I think. Uh, I could even change the exposure. Dun, 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 dun. Can I? Oh, that's auto too. Okay. What if I up it? Oh, wrong one. Oh, I see. I'm affecting the wrong camera. Oh, that's no good. Uh, cancel. Just keep that all the same. That's fine. You can just auto focus all you want. You need to autofocus though. Uh, there you go. That's the one I don't want to autofocus. Let's see. Configuring the video. Blah blah blah. Here we go. Camera control. Auto focus. Auto exposure. Okay. Whoa. Now it's just out of focus. How's that looking? Better. Oh, there you go. Ready? Oh, it's really hard to tell. I need like a bigger window, so I can. Oh, now it's too big. I need like a bigger window so I can see just how in focus or out of focus I am. Okay, how's this look? Focus wise, ready? Well, you know what I could do? What if I zoom right in on my eye? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, do this. Okay, there you go. I'm zoomed right in. Now I can, I can adjust the focus. What's weird, of course, is that my... How's that? Try that. Okay, apply that. Oh, no, no, not that. I don't want to get the zoom. I want the zoom. It's good. I don't want the zoom like that. Okay, apply. Okay, there you go. Try that. Uh, and then close. All right, let's see how that works. Okay, uh, this reminds me of when I tried to use binoculars, and it's impossible to get it in focus. I know. That's As you get older, it gets harder and harder to make these things get these, these things focus properly. Okay, what do we got? Um, has anyone woken Cal yet, by the way? Uh, no. What a meme cam. It's a meme cam? Is that? I like the name of that, meme cam. Did you wake up? Uh, did you wake Cal, Wolf Pup? Uh, no, I don't. I keep doing at least one of them show up. Uh, what's this? What's going on? I'm sure your kids see the determination too. Great role model. What's going on here? Uh, wind energy in the Midwest is pretty good. We could build more c turbines and invest in those, along with solar panels, which have all, uh, which we have all over. Uh, however, the power companies constantly lobby against expansion of those resources in this area. Hmm. I mean, this is part of the problem, right? Is we've got these. What do they call it? Um, Monopolies or something? Monopolies or something? They're not actually monopolies. They're well, those are probably the power probably are monopolies, but they're like instead of being like a monopoly that has complete control, they're like just these companies that are so big that they have so much control. Like the you know the the more power they have, the more money they have, so the more p power they have to 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 you know change laws in their favor and stuff. Um, Wiley Coyote is asking how Elden Ring is. Out of ten, what did you say, Wolf Pup? Nine. Nine out of ten. Is there a ten out of ten? Do you have a ten out of ten? Uh, 
No, I don't think any game that I've ever played. Ever played 10 really out of 10? Be. That's true. There's always something, isn't there? Uh, World Production is running 100% from solar panels and have batteries for the nighttime. So where, but where are you located, World, uh, World Production? Where are you? What part of the world are you in? God, I wish I had that map. I got to figure that map out. Wolf Pup, why can't you figure that out? How to do a figure map. Where we can, well, I want to figure out how to do a map where we can all just like drop a pin so everyone knows where they're, so I can see where everyone's from. Um, kind of have to also do the work on that. So you're going to make me do that work. Yeah, I can't really, like, get onto your stream and do that. <laughs> I, I can make you a mod. We'd be down so fast, wouldn't we? We'd be like, all of a sudden, we'd be like a total gamer channel. You'd be, like, on there, like, all the time. Hey, I've been yeah. locked out of my own my own stream. You're like, Elden Rings, all the time. I'm picturing that drill from J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movie, the first one. <sighs> um, okay. Um, what time zone is Cal in? She's in her own time zone. Captain... Captain, uh, Catherine, yeah, the cow's in her own time zone. She lives, she lives by her own rules. No one tells cow what to do. Um, that's interesting that wind energy is getting sort of blowback <laughs> from the energy companies. Uh, one of the things that I've heard, and again, uh, sun, Belgium, and it's 85% of the time you get sun. Wow. Really? Whoa. Did you kill the dragon? Or did you, oh, no, it killed you. I said a mini heart attack. I did not know he was here. It's I like saw it killed you and then just didn't even bother to turn around. It was like it just hit you with its tail and went, eh, whatever. I, just, I saw a group of people that I was going to go kill so I can get Ernst, and he just came out of nowhere and gave me a screech. That's it. Lesson to you. Keep an eye out for dragons at all times. You know I do. That's why I have that other camera, just in case another you know dragon lands. Um, yeah, the sun, I mean, here's the thing. The, as long as you've got a way of holding that charge somehow and we got to get better with ba better with batteries i guess or maybe this ways i was sort of wondering like you know are there are there mechanical things that we could do like could could solar power be used to run a pump that put water at the top of a hill or something that could slowly run down and create power for you when there isn't sunlight or could it be used to compress air that could then be used to you know, power something later on or compress water or God knows what else. I'm sure I'm, I'm just wondering if there's like mechanical ways of, of storing energy, right? This is kind of my stupid thinking. Bring it. What if mm. you made a solar power mm. that you basically made it so it can work without the sun? You It powers a light over the solar power and doesn't lose any power. Well, that's the thing. You, you can't, unfortunately, the, the nature, like, I think you're breaking like a law of physics, I think, if you do that, right? Where you can't have, you know, energy can't be, the energy doesn't get destroyed. It just gets, it just changes form, right? So you're, but whenever we change that energy's form, we lose a bit. So you're always a little bit behind. So eventually that system would, would. The, um, the time crystal. You need the time crystal. Exactly. What we need is a lot so, more bad Google, marble writing. Google. No, Google made a time crystal where it can change states without ah. burning any energy. Oh, really? They made that in its supercomputer like really? last year. Wait a second. I got to look that up. That sounds really cool. What's it just called? Google's time crystal? Google time crystal. Boy, they couldn't come up with a better name for it. That's great. Uh, first time crystal built using Google's quantum computer. You're so right. This is why I love Tech Bandits is that you guys teach me more than I know. Which isn't much. Uh, there's a lot for me to know. Okay, like a perpetual motion machine, a time crystal forever cycles between states without consuming energy. Physics, no, physicists claim to have built this new phase of matter inside a quantum computer. Really? This is really neat. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can show you. Because it's it even, even just a little animation they've done is kind of cool. Look at this thing. It looks like something out of a Fortnite game. I mean, I know that's not really it. That's just an artist rendition, but well, still. Somebody just offered you something on how to make your... Uh, someone in chat made a thing on how you can make your... Oh, what's it called? My brain broke uh, again. The map? Yeah, map. Oh, yeah? All right, let's have a look. Yeah, it's true. Physicists lie all the time. It's so true, James Gurney. They're like such... They're all about fake news, those physicists. Um, uh, so this article... Uh, okay, I didn't know this. Thank you, Wolf Pup. This is cool. Um, so they call it a time crystal. In addition, a separatist group claimed earlier that they've created a time crystal in a, dime, in a diamond. 
in a diamond. That's cool. Novel phase of matter that physicists have strived to realize for many years. A time crystal is an object whose parts move in a regular repeating cycle, sustaining this constant change without burning any energy. Wow. Okay, so I'd heard that that was, I thought like that's, you know, like it says here, like, you know, the consequence is amazing. You evade the second law of thermodynamics, which is the one that I was talking about, where I was saying like you can't, you know, um, uh, um, you know, the, the, the basically the, the disorder, it always gets, basically the system is never perfect. You're always losing something. So it's always falling apart a bit. Um, wow. Okay. Well that, oh my God, Wolf Pup. That's so cool. I got to read about that. Do you think there's a way of like using it to chart? That's, so you're saying that maybe we could somehow harness that energy. Yeah. You use the energy from that and then just have, a real <laughs> I know this sounds really stupid, but uh, it's basically making a real life infinite money glitch. Hmm. An infinite money glitch? Yes. <laughs> um an infinite money glitch is me. I'm an infinite money glitch. I just keep I just keep losing it. I just um, wanna say I know that sounds really stupid, but you could basically just make it so you have infinite energy if you just keep repeating that over and over. Well, that's the idea. If you can have something move without losing energy, without having that, without entropy setting in, um, then, then yeah, if there was a way of actually harnessing that, that'd be amazing. Like that's, I mean, like, I, I don't, I have no idea how you would do that. I guess you'd have to have multiple crystals. Um, but then how would you stop? Then each crystal, it couldn't hit it. I don't even, I, um, it depends, I guess, what's involved in actually making the crystal. God, did I mention my shoulder still hurt? Did I mention that? I've, my one arm is getting really good. My left arm is getting much better. My right arm is getting, honestly, I think it's getting worse. So that, that's why I should not be standing there with a, um, with my arm on the table with my mouse like that, but I'm going to anyways, because I'm, I'm so dedicated. Um, I forget who said it, but there's a good quote on the lines is if your experiment breaks thermodynamics, you did something wrong. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, generally. If it breaks a, you know, a known law. Uh, the law of diminishing returns, says Gremlin Chaser, for the first time, chat. Hello, Gremlin Chaser. Everyone say hi to Gremlin Chaser. Uh, but the cost of development scale would be significant power, would be crazy expensive. Yeah, it also depends, I guess, what much energy you have to put in to make it. I suppose that's, that's true. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> but I just feel like if we can get more efficient solar panels that can that can get a li just squeeze a little bit more power out of things, out of the sun each night. And you have a way of storing that power. And then maybe you have a couple of other things. Like maybe you don't run the heat. Maybe the heater is geothermal or the you have like a, a little bit of wind power to make up, you know, the difference or something. Um, you know, maybe that's the way to go. Or maybe, the, maybe we have like, or is there something we could be, is there some type of fuel that we could be using, um, in a generator like way. I mean, I, I gotta say, maybe this is crazy talk, but could you imagine if we had little nuclear reactors like clamped onto the side of our house and that just powered everything or out in the field and it just powers a neighborhood, right? Like instead of like being these massive, massive power plants, what if you made little, what are they called? Small, I think they're called like SMRs or SRMs or something like that. Um, Tesla's batteries. Well, the, the Tesla batteries. Yeah. But I'm saying like, what if instead of a battery you had, a little nuclear power source. Like what if you could, you know, have something that just sits by your house and power, like, like a little generator, except it's nuclear instead of, instead of gasoline or something, you know what I mean? Or, or diesel or something. What do they call yeah, this? But uh, people are trying to make a battery that has a mini nuclear reactor in it. Uh, those are the molten salt reactors. Yeah. Is that what the, those are the little ones? Is that what it's called? Um, uh, I think the bigger or more complex ones might be, but the smaller ones are. Yeah, I think the idea is that it's quite simple. Um, I didn't know that that uh, NASA was using those uh, those uh, molten salt reactors already. But they, what's nice about the molten salt is instead of having it cooled by water, which you then have to store and protect and all the rest of it, this is this is being uh, the salt is I believe it's some kind of a salt or salt mixture. It's actually like a, a heated fluid. Um, it's not a heated fluid. It's like a heated solid so that it's not, it's just not as messy when it cools down, I think. And it also has different, uh, it works in a slightly different way. I looked it up the other day and it was, it was sort of fascinating. Nuclear waste as, uh, as a battery. That's interesting. There you go. 
that's it. Small modular reactor. That's what I that I feel like that could that could work. Uh, I actually wanted to buy my own nuclear reactor, but plutonium isn't something you can buy easily, which might be a good thing. Well, but that's why they're that's why they're saying thorium because thorium thorium it's much much more complicated to turn that into any kind of weapons grade, um, uh, whatever they, whatever it turns into. Um, I mean, it's it's. Uh, he wanted to, he fixed his message and he said he wanted to make one, not build. He wanted to make one. Yeah, he wanted to make a mini nuclear reactor. Yeah, it'd be great. It's a good way to go to jail really quickly, too, I imagine. Once they start, once you start buying all the parts for it, someone's going to start going, like, wait a second. Um, what is he making? I actually, uh, yeah, I mean, that would be, can I post a link to a map where I loaded lots of aquatic shops in the UK as an example? Yes, you can. It's a full-time job. In fact, let's do that right now. Uh, permit, it's a full-time job. There you go. It's a full-time job. You have a certain number of seconds before all hell breaks loose and you're not allowed to do it anymore. Uh, Wolves Den's telling bad jokes. What's that? Uh, it's not ASMR? ASMR. That's just very good. Very good. Uh, I'm just not educated enough for this topic. Uh, no, Hank's Razor, another of mine. That's why we're here together trying to find this stuff out. It's a full-time job. So this is the Google Map thing. Let me just do this. Can I do that? Uh, no thanks. Uh, Google Maps. Here we go. Oh, look at that. So now if you want to know where every aquarium in the United Kingdom is, or certainly a large portion of them, that's how you do it. And then, so, well, I guess that's all we need. Do you have to put them in by hand, right? Is that, did you do them by hand? Is that, is that right? Uh, it's a full-time job? Um, I'm a dad. I has dad jokes. It's true. You do. And we love you for it. U.S. approves first small-scale nuclear reactors by Dan Rabinsky. Like Wiley Coyote, do you want to post that link? That'd be great if you could. Um, I'm going to permit you right now. Permit. Uh, who are you? Wiley. You be Wiley. There you go. All right. If you wouldn't mind posting that link, that'd be amazing, Wiley. Um... Also use reference to pin locations for online social groups. Thank you, Melissa85. Isn't that cool? That's good work. It's a full-time job. I gotta maybe I'm gonna have to maybe have to we'll see if I can figure that out. Were there instructions? Where did you get your instructions from for that? It's a full-time job. Um Estonia is planning to use small modular reactor. Oh, good. Okay. Well that see, I think I feel like we're getting around to it. I feel like there's a there's a, a chance to this stuff. Oh wow, okay, great. Woo, that is a long, long link. Excuse me. I'm sorry to say that what lies ahead is risky and expensive. Is that really it? Ah, uh, really? Uh, step one. Who is telling you this? Futurism.com. Is that? I don't know. I don't know Futurism.com. Small modular built by New Scale Powers, the first of its kind in the U.S. Well, let's go to the Scientific American reports. That's actually where this stuff comes from. There you go. I always like going to the source. Except all cookies. Yeah, you know I love it. Uh... Oh, why aren't you seeing that page? That's weird. Uh, why aren't you seeing that page? Am I in the wrong? Oh, I guess I'm using the wrong thing. Okay, here you go. Let's do this. Um, so, so this is the uh, this is the article. Concerns about cost and safety remain, however, of course. Uh, the design, Portland, Oregon-based company, tend to speed up construction, lower the cost. What is the cost? Significant milestone. Uh, of course, everyone always says that, don't they? I like that they're SMRs, though. Um, developed with the help of almost $300 million. Although, God knows, what how, these plants, these nuclear power plants are, are multi, multi billions of dollars, right? Um, has a generating capacity of 50 megawatts, substantially smaller than a standard nuclear reactor, which can range to well more than 1,000 megawatts. But, but again... Uh, a utility could combine up to 12 SMRs at a single site, producing 600 megawatts of energy, enough to power a mid-sized city. The NRC says it expects an application for a 60 megawatt version of New Scale's SMR in 2022. That is interesting. Um, okay, so what now? Who's complaining about it? There's always someone who's going to say, like, wait a second, we've got some... Here's what I'm worried about. Um, they've expressed skepticism. Uh, highlighted significant issues associated with the project. Um, says that it's risky, expensive, cost estimates, various sources, uh, risen, um, 
uh, right. You don't want you obviously you want safety to be a, a big. I mean, safety has to be a big part of it, right? Obviously, because you don't want you don't want things like. Um, I just got a message saying that our our reactor is not doing very well. Could you go to the basement and check? I mean, it's probably not going to be. That's probably not going to be good for anybody, right? I would do that though. Like I would, I would totally consider that. I would to absolutely consider something like that. I'm not paying 300 billion for it, but I mean, again, once it becomes, wow, who are you fighting now? Is that your many armed person? This no. is the market. I died because I. Did I distract you? No, I made a mistake. Are those wolves I... your wolves attacking it for you? Yeah. Okay. Do the, did you have to I recruit brought... those wolves? Uh no, Aww. I have their. They're dead. Darth Gallum, thank you very much. Raiding with your party of five. Sweet. Bring it on, I say. Bring it on. Uh, Elminster, Elminster 04, nothing worthwhile is without risk. Thank you. Good point. First time chat. Everyone say hi. Elminster 04 has joined the chat with worthwhile comments. Um, what else we got? <laughs> big Giano. Is it Big Yano or Big Giano? And doing a, B, a big dance. Comic Age Clothing. Oh, that sounds cool. Do you have Comic Age Clothing? First time chat from Stone Monkey Research. Garth Gallon Raid! Um, thank you for your raid. Got hit with an ad. I know. I don't understand. How do I get rid of that? Why are people still getting ads? That drives me freaking crazy. Um, every time I ask this, I'm online streaming, and it always I always think it's a terrible idea to go in and start messing with the with the stream while I'm doing it. So I, I promise I will look into that. Hello, Darth Gallum. Thank you very much. What are you guys doing? What were you, what were you all up to? I shouldn't say guys, should I? What were you folks up to? What were you doing before you got dragged into our sad world? Um, I think it's a setting. Yeah, it is, Captain Catherine. I'm just not sure where. Use an ad blocker, ad block plus extension. That sounds like a lot of a pain in the butt. There's just a way of, I think there's a way of my setting it so that it doesn't show you ads, right? Oh, you can't for non-subs. Don't break the stream. You're a true Anima Confusa. Anima Confusa knows me far too well. Anima Confusa is the one who keeps pointing out that whenever I say goodbye, it's always another like two hours. How you doing, Wolf Pup? You killed that thing yet? Not yet. Oh, you jumped straight in. Oh, you jumped right under that one. I'm going to drink my Kool-Aid real quick. Yep, that's what I do. I have no idea what that means. Nope. Eight, mess eight no. messages were deleted? What? And they timed up VR GIMP 31 for five seconds. Stop posting links automated by Nightbot. VR GIMP I... 31, what do you got? What are you trying to post? Garth Gallum. Uh, I missed. I'm dead. Probably doing theory, there Maybe are more not. than enough knowledge on the internet to learn. So I mean, this is it. So I started watching this. Um, uh, oh, thank you, Comic Age Clothing. They are a great bunch, the Salty, the salty Podcast. Um... The non-salty oh, podcast. They, I love the salty nerds. I, they're just fantastic. And the fact that they got together with us um, to talk podcasting was just, I mean, it's amazing. There's a number of other people I'd like to talk to as well. I, I really like it because I just like talking to people who like doing this stuff. Um, maybe I should, just, I should I, do like stream bandits or something. So we can just talk to streamers as well, see what they, what they like to do. Um, I think it's fine you're given authorization by the creator. So I think I'm going to try to get rid of it if I can. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry that there are still they're still giving you ads. I, I have to go and look at the go into the bowels of Twitch and figure out how the hell to do it. Um, I'll go on their Buffy of Trivia tomorrow. Oh, very good. Buffy of Trivia. Buffy Trivia, indeed. Uh, VR Gimp 31, what are you trying to post? Um, Garth Gallum was doing his first stream. He's a big Star Wars nerd. All right, we better go follow. Everyone go follow Darth Gallum then. If anyone's into Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Wars, they want to go follow Garth Gallum. God, I sound so old, don't I? It's Star Trek, Stargate, Star Wars. It's all a shame to me. Um, you did it. You worked at Stargate, so you can't really see that. I know. That. I can't really. I shouldn't really get that wrong, should I? Is there a way to click on people and then see their channel? Can you do that? Like if I yeah, click, there is. So if I click on Garth, Garth Gallum, let me see if I can find him in here. All right. When he next posts, I click on him. Uh, uh, VR GIMP, let me give you that. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, let me see. VR GIMP, let me, uh, let me give you a permit on that. Look at me. You know, Cal would be so proud of me. Look at the work I'm doing here. 
It's just like I'm a one-man band here. Uh, unless she's actually here. Oops, VR gift 31. There you go. You are permitted. Watch me screw this up really badly now. I know a lot of people, COVID was not much of a good time, but I enjoyed it very much. I watched over a thousand hours of videos on YouTube just on Rocket Engines. It was awesome. World Productions. Um, no. Yeah, Baz and I were saying we felt a little guilty because we we actually, you know, for us, for us, it was quite lovely. Um, I mean, it was difficult for work and stuff, and I got a little concerned about money. But, um, but uh, you know, out of, certainly compared to other people, we're in a very good situation. And now looking at the situation in Ukraine, I'm just, I'm, I'm sort of shocked and flabbergasted and embarrassed that we haven't done more to, to help uh, their situation. I can't believe we get out of a freaking pandemic only to start murdering each other. It just seems, well, is that Putin ass? Technically, um, aren't we still in a pandemic, though? We are. Yes, it's true. All right. Can I can I follow someone? Is it How do I follow? Here's what I had to do, by the way. Just in, I don't want to ban him. I want to follow him. How do I follow? Can I follow him? Nope. I'm block, whisper, add a friend, add friend. What do, I, what do I do? How do I, how do I follow the guy? Isn't there a way to follow him from here? Do I have to go to his channel to do the follow thing? Yeah, you kind of have to go in. Oh, his... there you go. Okay, there you go. I clicked. I clicked. I clicked something, and it clicked, and something happened. Okay, ready to go? Where's the? How do I go? Uh, I go in here, and I go follow. Done. Garth Gallum, you're followed. I'd follow everybody if I could, but, you know. Uh, here's something interesting that I had to do. It's not that interesting at all. Actually, it's probably really dull. Um, but I, my wife was, oh, JR, JR, JR. Thank you very much. Five gifted subs. That's crazy. I think his name is Jir. Jir. Um, it just sounds like I should be yelling at serious gifts. What is ever? Why is everyone in a really good mood today or something? Not me. Um, Okay, VR GIMP 31. I'm looking at the NASA Gov technology. Here you go. From a source of heat comes the power to explore. Ooh, that looks cool. Is that showing up in our in our little thing if I do this? Nope, because I got the wrong. It opens the wrong freaking thing every time. All right, here we go. Actually, that's probably good. That way I've got two. I'm covered. Okay, here we go. New one, new one going up. And I'm going to paste it. Paste and go. Here we go. All right. Okay. And that's there you go. From a source of heat comes the power to explore. This looks kind of exciting, actually. Uh, general purpose heat source. Okay. So fuel clads in fueled position. Aero shell, carbon fiber sleeve, graphite impact shield, me, uh, iridium metal cladding. God, my eyesight's terrible. Plutonium 238 dioxide fuel pellet heat source. Ah. Radioisotope power systems, or RPS, provide electricity and heat that can enable spacecraft to undertake scientific missions to environments beyond the capability of solar power, chemical batteries, and fuel cells. RPS sometimes referred to as a type of nuclear battery. While some spacecraft, like Cassini, do run their systems directly off their RPS, others, like the Mars Science Laboratory rover, can use the RPS to charge batteries, run their systems, and instruments off of stored battery power. In either case, the RPS is attached directly to a spacecraft, much like a power cord being plugged in. These technologies are capable of producing electricity and heat for decades under the harsh conditions of deep space without refueling. All of these power systems, flown on more than two dozen NASA missions since the 1960s, have functioned for longer than they were originally designed. Wow. Well, that's cool. And there's a GHPS pull-apart animation, so you can actually see how it works. That is very cool. Oh, there's a little fuel pellet. Um, I wonder how... I guess they're not really worried about radiation and stuff, though, are they, in, in that kind of a situation? Is that right? They're, I mean, the fact that they're I – mean, I'm assuming that it's they're, – they're probably not – those are probably cheap and cheap and cheerful because you don't have to worry about them sort of irradiating anybody in the process. But I could be wrong. Uh, all right. What do you got in here? What have I missed? What have I missed? This, I've missed a whole bunch of stuff. Look, i got to check my list. Okay. Lumer 21 followed. Thank you very much. Lepalintu has subscribed. What? We convinced you to subscribe? Well, thank you. Stone Monkey Research. I like the sound of that, too. Uh, Lepalintu followed. Uh, Jeer, of course, did all of their gifted subs, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, okay, Alyssa LG from Mexico. Sending me greetings from Monterey, Mexico. Well, I got to get this map sorted out. If you get this map sorted out, I can actually start putting people, you know, people in here. Uh, so that system is basically man-made geothermal power. Oh, my God. VR... GIMP 31, you're so right. So basically, yes, of course. So the heat from the the heat from the earth 
you're basically doing the same thing with a pellet of of uh of uranium that's that's actually very smart yeah huh very smart um could you follow my twitch channel that would be absolutely insanity as a fan world productions i think i can do that let me see can i do that let me go here going again is there anything um, is cal gonna get mad at me for doing this that's what i want to know will cal get mad at me for following all these people not all these people uh hey we're on there oh while we're offline check out me oh look at that that's cool um one day i'll figure out how the hell all this works uh okay there you go i followed you too there you go who else should i follow anyone else uh why are you killing the merchants wolf pup yeah why are you killing the merchants wolf pup i don't know what that means uh because i if you kill the merchant and you offer they drop a bell bearing and you can offer it to her hmm she is in the table of lost grace you off it to her and then you can just go bell bearing shopping Calais is bell bearing and you can buy everything from him you know what I love? I love that in the chat there are people like talking amongst themselves. I know it's a silly thing, but I just love I love when an audience becomes a community. And for some reason, the wonderful Stargate folks and and such, they always end up becoming this sort of like community. And so I just love like I just like the fact that Melissa 85 is saying, hey, you know, my cousin's from Monterey. And so they're already talking back and forth about stuff. I think that's, you know, um, Alyssa LG is always very happy when I mention her. Um, and uh, that's what I'm here for, really, Alyssa, is, to, is just to make your day. That's that's what, that's what I'm here for. Uh, bell bearing versus ball bearing. What? Uh, Dan Watt. Uh, one day I see a squirrel in that camera. Well, one day, or a raccoon. So last night, I've got a tale of terror for you. Do you have raccoons out there, New Brunswick? I don't know. I actually haven't seen them. Well, we've got them here. And last night... Uh, there's the dog sitting by the window, just, you know, happily waiting to be let out. And I let the dog out through the big screen door, not screen door, the sliding door. And she takes off and goes toe to toe with a giant freaking raccoon. It was like a small bear. And why are you letting your dog fight a raccoon? I didn't know it was there. That's what my wife said. She's like, why do you, I, what I do is when, the, when they're on the balcony upstairs, I will hold her by the collar. And I will Why do you open have the so door. Much raccoons? I don't know because I'm that kind of person. People love me. It's because I've got raccoon logos everywhere with the tech bandits. They probably think this is like a clubhouse for themselves. So, um, so they, uh, so they, they, they like to sort of hang out on our, our, the por the the balcony upstairs. So I go out with the dog, and the dog goes, <laughs> and the idea is that it's going to scare the dog, scare the raccoon off. It doesn't. They just go up on their hind legs and come at you. So, um. So yeah, what so do. they're freaking they're the cheekiest devils I've ever they're they are really little little jerks those guys. Now, not as much of a jerk as my dog who this poor thing that you know fights the good fight and then starts to leap up a tree to get away. What is what does Haza do? She jumps up, grabs the thing by the butt and pulls it back down again. So I had to go out to try to stop them and then I was like I am not standing between two wild, very well-pawed animals. Between, between Huzzah and the teeth of Huzzah and the, and the, the claws on that freaking thing. So Huzzah came back with just a little, one little nick under her eye. She's very, very lucky. Because that, that thing was, and man, the noise. It sounded I, like she'd put him in a blender. Like it was the most horrendous noise coming from this giant panda I thing. would have ran out and like, with the spatula or a, uh, a spatula, yeah, that would have done it. What are you gonna? Gr you gonna grill them up some pancakes? What are you? What are you doing no, with that spatula? You should run out with a broom or something. I did. To save your dog. Well, I ran out with myself. Now, keep in mind that it was also really icy, so it was more like going out like this. I was like so sort of just tiptoeing up. along the, the the ice, trying to get to them. I tried to scare them off, but there was no way. I couldn't get Azar to listen to a word I say because she's Huzzah. Um, and then, of course, the raccoon's not listening to me at all. The raccoon's not, the raccoon's like, well, he looks, he looks like easier. He's, she's like, the raccoon's like, well, well I'll take on the human instead because he's got less teeth and hair. Um, fun fact, raccoons have been around for 40,000 years. Well, not this one. This look quite young. Um, here's the other thing is I heard that raccoons, everyone thinks they're so smart. They're not. They're just incredibly persistent and curious. Um, all right. I got to say, I so love them. Are you calling the tech bandits not smart then? Just yeah. curious. 
No, that's, no, I'm not. I'm saying you guys are relentless and dangerous ninja-like animals that could do serious damage. That's what I'm calling Also, you. I just want to say, Baz, if you want to play, I can open up a co-op. Oh, Baz, you on now? Is Baz on again now? Is he? I haven't checked Discord. Is he, is he there? I, I don't really know. It popped I don't up know. in the corner. My, yeah, it's my... Hey, Lord Chunky's still here. Yeah, I'm still here. What? Like, what? In silence? What are you, like, crazy stalker guy? Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, thank you, Lumaire. Lumaire2021 20, just subscribed. Uh, so we were talking about these little, um, they're, they're, uh, little modular reactors. So you can get like little, they're, they're, there's a patent out in America now for these little modular reactors and they can like, so we can have our own little, little nuclear power plants. How cool would that be? But it's not for home use. Well, yet, but you know, once they get cleared, they'll be fine, won't they? What could go wrong? Everything. Well, this is the funny thing, though, is that I guess they have to have, like, fail-safes in place, right? Um, but, yeah, I guess everyone is terrified of... Is there no way... Could we not just fling... What, could we not fling, you know, you know, radioactive material into space or something? Would that work? <laughs> no. I mean, space is already radioactive. This, this That's is what I'm saying, is there's already lots of radiation out there anyways. Could we just... What if we just throw it into the sun? It would just be like, we just like, but like, it's just too expensive. Is that the, is that the deal? I mean, it, it feels, it feels crazy to be storing it on the planet that we're living on. It's kind of like living over a, over like a toilet or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I, I feel like we're just all the trash and, and radioactive crap that we've dumped out of our reactors. We're now like, we're like, well, I hope that stays nice and safe in those big cement or metal tins or whatever we put them in. You know what I mean? If the rocket pops on the way up, then radioactive clouds and rain. Oh, gremlin chaser. Got to point out the negatives in my plan. Oh, God. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Could you imagine that? <laughs> this is why I'm not running the planet, people. Because I, I would have already nuked us by accident. You know? Uh, we can barely throw a small probe out there without, without the biggest rocket. That was actually discussed many times, but the risk of the rocket is failure, and it's spreading over a vast area is too great. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Um, I was wondering if maybe there's some other way of getting it. You know, could you have, like... So that's when you need to set up like the space elevator or something, right? Where you could just have it, you know, lifted up and tossed out into space. Although, God, even that feels bad. I feel like it's like we're chucking garbage out of our out of our Winnebago as we fling it as we fly through space or something. Um, uh, two of the salty guys and a bunch of club members in a video chat room. What's that? Anime confusion? What's this? What are we talking about? Um, yes, please remember Gimpy G, good friend, streaming. He's got streaming to do. Um, well, you did destroy a solar system. Yes, yes, K. McKay. Everyone loves bringing that up. Um, I imagine there are several military satellites out there with nuclear reactors on them. I'm sure. I mean, like that's that's the thing, right? We've been using this. We've been using this for ages, right? Um, there'll never be a space uh, elevator. The potential for a weapon is too hot with a space elevator. Yeah. The space I elevator think... as a weapon. I could see it easily. Really? How are you gonna? Okay, how are you gonna use it as a weapon? I just get up to the top of it and I throw pennies. Like, you throw a penny down. And some people used yeah. to say what happened at the CN Tower. If you threw a penny off the CN Tower and it would like, it would like disappear into the ground. I never, I never knew if that was true or not. I figured that by the time it, like, I, I figured it would sort of like, there's so much updraft, it would probably just like flutter down. But I could be wrong. Um. Uh, all right, this and we can't have nice things. And this is why we can't have nice things exactly, Hank's Razor. Ideally, you want to have a very, very small controlled black hole, and maybe we could crush the waste that way for storage. Um, and the entire world inside it. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to be that close to a black hole. I don't want to be the guy whose job it is to take the trash out if, they, if it's got to be put out in a, in a, in a, uh, in a black hole. Uh, Sacrifice. The damage a space elevator could do if the tether breaks would be crazy. Okay, but serious Philip, what about the what about the what about the the danger of like, you know, a rocket you know, exploding in you know, in orbit and then knocking down every satellite we've got up there. Didn't we lose like a whole bunch of didn't we lose a whole bunch of uh of uh of uh was it uh, Bezos? No, no, it was it was uh, Elon Trump's. You Elon, Elon Trump. I just said Elon Trump. Who the hell is Elon Trump? He should be the character in a book. Uh, Elon Musk. 
Elon Musk should have been, um, didn't he have like a bunch of satellites taken out uh, during the last, was it the solar flare or was it, was there some, or was it something to do with, um, uh, with debris or something? Uh, can someone try and add a location to a map for me, please, if I share the link? Yes, it's a full-time job sharing it now. You ready? Here we go. I just want to say I would not like to see Elon Trump. That would be kind of, that's kind of creepy, actually. That's kind I of a fun like character. Would... I feel uh, like people would need bleach after that. Right, or unsee juice. Un <laughs> unsee juice. I like that. Uh, there you go. So uh, it's a full time job. I'm giving you a link. We're gonna put like a we're gonna put like a pin on it. Is that the idea? How do I put a, a pin? A pin a blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk today. But the thing is, people might pin their like actual house. So That's what I'm to, doing like, right now. Just finding my street. I'm why kidding. is everybody saying through here there's a weak foe? Are they all lying to me? There's a weak foe? Uh, yeah, where should I do? Everybody's... Should I go? Where should I? Should I just do Toronto or do you just do? How do I put a pin on it? How do I add a pin? Can I add a pin? Watch out the, uh... Hello, oh, dog. Oh, yeah, this guy's weak. This uh, guy's insanely print, weak. Copy I can map. How do I add a pin? Is there a way to add a pin? Or do I just. Can I right click? How do I add a pin to it? Elon Trump is like the big bad boss at the end of a video game. Yeah, I should definitely patent that. I've got genius. Oh, can I do that? Inspect. No. Just get. I just want to add a pin. How do I add a pin? Oh, it says it was created by a user and I can learn how to use my own. There you go. But if I do that, then does that link me to, does that link my account to people? Okay. You would have to make like just a dummy account for that. Uh, I think you have to be given uh, edit permissions to everyone. That seems a bit risky, doesn't it? I guess, what are they going to do? Like, like put lots of pins in the shape of a penis or something? Is that like that? Is that like, <laughs> That's exactly what you're going to do. Is that what you, do that. Here you go. They are now. Now, now that I've told them, I've told them what to do. God damn it. I'm the worst. I'm so, this is why I'm not a teacher, by the way. Uh, that and I don't know anything. Did it work? Well, there's definitely an Alyssa LG. There's an Alyssa LG tag on there. Um, wait a sec. So if I can create my own, can I do this too? Then you just want to make the tag like not too specific. Like don't drop it like right on your house. Oh, I'm dropping it on your house, buddy. Uh, on uh, your computer. That's still a little close to your house. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I don't live there. Uh, oh. No maps are owned by me. Oh, okay. Well, that's. I just have to say, I just, in Elden Ring, I just got the Assassin's Crimson Dagger. So when I critical hit people, I restore HP. Oh, so when you so hit I'm other people, you get their energy. Yeah, so I'm a vampire now. Oh, that's great. That's super. Just but Basil be so happy. Um, all right, all right. Oh, for oh, God's well, sake! It wants all of my sorry. passwords and everything. I hey, buddy. Got, uh, I just got a weapon. Like it's a talisman that now when I do critical attacks on people, I regain health. Oh, nice. I just did some boss over, I actually don't know where it was. I was just wandering around. I found a ton of messages saying there's a tunnel. Okay, attack banditry. Uh-oh, now we know where Jack Jasra is. Don't get too close to home, Jack. Otherwise, we'll come and visit. Okay, so if I do this, can I now drop a link on Toronto? go so if i do this uh add a layer no nope. hey where are you from how do i do it export embed on my site open a map nope copy a map do i drag ah add a marker is that what i want to do, if I do yeah this? you want to add a marker to his map wait is it like anonymous or can people like i don't know that's why see right, my google do. account so i just do toronto ontario Right? I'm just gonna hide in a and then I add it to map. Add to map. And then can I, I do it? The can I add a name to it? Ah, there you go. Which we call it Tech Bandits HQ. Which, does that mean that it's gonna link to me though? No, people. I don't think people can see your name. Well, just because I have, I have like an outfacing email, and I have like a one that just for friends and family. 
uh, just because otherwise I don't ever get right. to do it with your out facing one then. Well, that's what I should do, but I'm not. I'm not logged in as that. Oh, I'm. Hmm. I honestly have no clue where I am in the map. I just thought I was in Ontario still. Ontario. Hey, there's Jack, and then there's Toronto. I guess I'm Toronto. All right, let's see if this works. See if I. We'll see if I. I'll change it if I need to. But let's call it uh, Hewlett HQ. There we go. Well, maybe not Hewlett HQ. I'm gonna call it Tech Bandits HQ. Okay, I just I just made one of the exact center of New Brunswick. I didn't Did you? make it. Oh, oh yeah. mine hasn't updated. Okay, I added one. If I re, let me get ready. Like how oh, look at that. Just, wait, oh, that's pretty cool. Everybody just seeing my character's face that close up when I was doing that. I just need to quickly oh, apologize that's... for nightmares I just gave people. Can we edit any point or only the points that we've been given? Oh, I can edit any of them. Ah. All right, people are adding points. Oh, this is cool. Hey, um, that's pretty great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jack. That's that's very neat. Now I just got to somehow, do people have the link to this? Zoom out quite a bit so you don't see... There you go. Don't get a precise location. Exactly. Well, so far, ah, we've already got four pins in North America. One pin in Europe. No, is it one pin or is it two pins? One pin. What else we got? Wait a second. Where's New? I don't see New Brunswick in there yet. Or do I? It's we got over. Montreal. Apparently, I'm still in Ontario. Oh, no. There I you go. I don't believe that, though. I got it in New Brunswick right there. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, great. Okay, so everyone should go throw their... Okay, is this the link? We got the link? Okay. Yes, Tech Bandits. Go check out. So go check out that link. Go click on that link, and let's put some. Let's put like again. Don't give me your actual address. Unless Approximate. You to, unless you want me to send him your exact address and yeah. your social insurance number and any credit cards you might have, um, and just hand those over to to, uh, to you Lord Chunky. You'll be doing a giveaway. I'll be doing a giveaway. That's right. Um, do we put up? Our, do we put our user ID? Uh, well, whatever, to do that, Captain Catherine, to do whatever you'd whatever like to do. Whatever ID you would like. Whatever you'd like. I've got so far. I've got one called Jack Jasra. I wonder who that could be. Then there's point I two. No idea. I'm not sure what Probably. point two is. There's New Brunswick. I think I know who that is. And then there's Tech Bandits HQ. That is definitely the most handsome sounding as one. Me. Uh, keep the link in the Discord guide with instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we do that? In the Discord. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even think of that. We should put it in Discord for sure. Mm. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Um, hey, Baz, did you end up going back to Elden Rings, or did you did you stay with not having Elden Rings? Oh no, I went back. <laughs> uh, have you fought a Gil yet? I just <laughs> found him running around, and he is very terrifying, and oh. I'm not fighting him alone. Serious Fuller, where where was yours? Was was your Serious Fuller? Uh, Serious Fuller. Let's see where they're from. They are from. Where's the? Where is it? Oh. Bottom left, Australia. Where's that? Perth. Oh, I don't think I've been out to Perth. Did we ever get if to... If anyone who likes <sighs> turtles is okay. watching the screen show, don't look. Okay, this is the coolest thing ever, by the way. Bonjour from Quebec. Ah, oh, this is cool. Oh my oh. god, this is cool. Got a new katana. Oh, where are you? Why are there only... I... Okay, wait a sec. There should be more than one person in Toronto. Oh, well. Mine, yeah, time. I think so. Baz, I want to. Nah, don't have to put where you don't have to put exactly where you are, but you want to have like. Oh, I had to make a map with this for um geography. I don't. Class. I don't. You really did? Think he? I had to add something like a write up for every city of Toronto. No. Like. Every city. Lakes. Sorry, every like, city in Toronto. Not every city in Toronto. Sorry. Do you mean every, every city in Ontario? City. Oh, okay. All the capital cities. Every like, Wait, like how many capital Ontario. cities are there in, in, in Ontario? Thirteen, but it has to be like a paragraph for each. That's so thirteen paragraphs. Wait, like you mean thirteen capital cities in Canada? In Canada, yeah. Okay, right, good. Okay, just checking. <laughs> just, just checking, because uh, I've already there are two capitals I've already there. failed you. <laughs> I just failed you in geography. Uh, are there two capitals? Ottawa and Toronto. Is Toronto oh, actually a capital? Canada. I thought Toronto got like totally Toronto's screwed. Toronto's the capital of Ontario. Yeah. The capital oh, it of is. Ontario, you went to school, Not, right? I sort of. It was a long time ago, and I don't even know if we had Toronto back then. Um, you know, all those dinosaurs <laughs> running around—it was very dangerous. 
Uh, um, Ottawa is the capital of Canada, though, right? Because somebody paid a lot of money or something? Because I have no idea why Ottawa is the capital of anything. Oh, it's wait, like... how do you change the icon? Ooh, you can change the icon? Apparently. <gasps> can I change it to a raccoon? No. Oh. Someone made the... There's... Bonjour from wait a second, why does it say name Beskrigbogen? I think this might be in German. Uh, okay. Um, can I change the type of marker that I've put in? That is interesting. I can okay, add an I image. Just... <gasps> I can add an image. I don't think you should do that. Why not? Because then people will be making interesting images. Oh. Nah, they're fine. We can trust our community. Um, I was just going to put a picture of a dick. Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> no problems with that. Um, all right, wait a second. Where is... I don't... Where, where the hell am I? What are these? Oh, these are pictures from a thousand years ago. Oh, my God. Oh, I know I know where you are, Baz. I just... Can I do an image URL? <laughs> what if I put, like... Can I put, like, a raccoon up there? That would be... Like, I like well, to put a... Where? Okay, I'm at the Dragon Burnt Ruins. Okay. Oh. Right. I... Oh, that's where Aguil is, also. All right, yeah, here we go. That is where the toxic wolf summon is. That's why I'm here. Toxic wolves. Okay, I think so, I have well, this perfect I'm gonna, thing to I'm going to go over there. I did not know the toxic wolf summon is there. No, I didn't know that either. I'm pretty uh, sure I'm... the toxic wolf summon is here. Yeah, I, didn't I might be wrong. Though. I don't oh. really want, like, spoilers of the lore, the but I like knowing wolf. where places are. I think I can do this. Yeah, this would be I'm, really cool I'm, if I can. Oh, uh, do you want, don't do you want me to anything. tell you where the meteorite katana is? Uh, no, thank you. I'm good. I can't find that. I'm like, the general area, but I'll find that eventually. Image URL. Why can't I find that? I'm just. Oh, I found a, a tunnel in the okay, dragon burnt rooms. Okay. Yes. Oh, that was Bing. Wait, are you Bing doesn't like me sharing there. Okay. Yeah, right, I so just ran the... over. Oh, I just, I just saw you going. All right. That's too big. There's a chest. There's a smaller one. That I'm gonna open. Okay. Can I? There's like a little yeah. ruin. Oh, there are in a the... lot of rats. Share that. Okay. Yeah, I'm in there. You can share I'm the opening link. the portal. Copying that link. I now let's see if this works. It's a portal. Portal to where though? I don't know. I'm loading. It's a transporter trap. I think you should still go in it because... Hmm. Uh, I, I don't even know anything else. I it does not want me to do that. Okay. I don't uh, tell you where it takes you, but I'm upload. just going to say it's a transporter. Ha! Ah, what if I upload it from my device? Okay, hang on. So if I go here... Okay, this is a much better plan. Okay, I've got a much better plan, people. Ooh. This. Okay. And now I'm going to download this image. Can I do that? Save. Can't save it. Why can't I save it? Visit the site. Why can't I just take the... Don't, for God's sake. Why is everything so complicated, Wolf Pup? Yeah, come on, Wolf Pup. Yeah, Wolf Pup, get on that, would you? Jeez. Jeez, eh? I just got one tapped, and I'm very scared now. Let's, let's talk science. Okay, I'm going to save the image. Save the image. Here we go. Right here. Done. Now, I think I can then upload that to this thing, and then we've got a little thing on here. Okay. Apparently there's a raccoon icon. What already? Yeah. Here we go. I did it. I think I did it. When you go to Toronto and you click on my link, there's a little raccoon tech bandits logo. Oh, this is the best, Jack Jaster, you rock. Oh God, it's I... good to be a nerd. Oh look, we got I New just... York, Baltimore, Washington. Oh, it's filling up. It's filling up. I made New Brunswick radioactive by accident. Radioactive? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Hey, how did they get the little raccoon logo? You did that to No, yourself. I didn't do that. No. Someone added a little logo. But how did they get that? Okay, I want to know who did that and how they did it. Ta speak up. Uh, it lets you add whatever icon. So how do you do that, Captain Captain? I couldn't figure out how to get an icon on it. I mean, I love it. If I do this, what does that do? <gasps> Popular icons. There you go. More icons. Uh, there it is. Oh, that's great. So you can put aliens and, ah, oh, that's awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Now that I figured that out. Okay. This is going to be the coolest thing ever. Of course, there's an alien in Montreal because why wouldn't it be? And then I'm guessing New Brunswick is, 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 has gotten nuclear. Uh, oh, this is really cool. Oh, there's, oh my God, there's people everywhere now. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to embed this, if it's okay, 
I'm going to embed this uh, on our on our homepage, right? On techbandits.org. Well done, Jack Jasper, indeed. You still have techbandits.org? Yeah. I have techbandits.org. I have thetechbandits.com. I feel like we're more of an organization than a .com, though, in that it just costs me money. <laughs> and Jane is Jane has just discovered my PayPal account, which is where, you know, money comes in for Tech Bandits and then goes out because I buy stuff, you know, things here and there. Um, and it's confused the hell out of um, out of uh, out of poor Jane's accounting. Uh, I'm also scared she's going to find out that we've also got Magic the Gathering cards that we probably shouldn't have spent money on. But, you know, there's that. Um, I would add it to the Discord in case people are in there. Yes, I agree. Could someone add it? Can I add it? Is that like a general... If I do like a general post to Discord with that link and say, hey, everybody, go check out this map and that Jack Jasper did. And... Okay, let me see what I can do here. Okay, let me see here. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my God, what? Did you go to the chest? It is very hard to get out of, but you get a lot of stuff. Can I see what you're doing, Bass? Are you sharing your, your stream as well? I am not sharing my stream. But you I'm don't, pretty you sure don't have we're to. in the same area in the game. So oh, basically, you do you're, not in the, have to. you're in the cave, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right. There's a little paint bucket. I'm right, are you mm -hmm. fighting the enemies or are you just running around? I'm trying to run by them. Apparently, I'm supposed to quit I'm... while I'm ahead, says so so K McCabe, indeed. Um, Alyssa yeah, LG saying hello to this full-time job. Who else we got in here? Um, what I else think I, I missed? see you. Okay. I'm dead. Yeah, Captain Catherine. It oh. did take me a while to figure it out, but uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, do you play Commander, Do you want David? me to invite you? We haven't done Commander, have we, Baz? Uh, sure. I'll join in. Can you still get loot by doing it? Baz, we have some Commander uh, decks. Yeah, you just, you just can't use summons. Uh, pardon? Jack? Do we have commander decks? Do we do any commander decks? We do a yes, little bit, don't we? Yes, we have commander decks. Um... Um, all right. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to okay, take this. On my... K. McCabe's out of here. Defender. Way past yeah, a lot of time. You Thank you so much, Steam McCabe. Have a good time. K. McCabe. And then I can join in. Uh, post link. By, uh... by doing shift tab, you can... Info it. channel would be a good spot. Okay, so let's see. Apparently, that I nuclear battery on the Cassini generated 885 watch. watts oh, at the start of the mission in, the eight, in 1887. I'm guessing it's 1987. And it was down to 633 watts at the end of the mission. Down in gold of me. And we couldn't track it. Okay. Wow. Oh. So I, I can write down, I could place down my summon. All right, you guys can listen listen to the to the tech bandits as they, as they play Elden Rings. I'm going to make your window a little bigger, and I'm going to go pee. It's a summon sign. I'm old. Okay, I'm using it. All right, here we go. I just go. used a summon sign in the get rid of this thing. My name is R5. Okay. It, are you in the of... cave? You have to like meet up in the same area. Okay, there's get rid of that. Yeah, right there. That's you. Okay, go over to I'm my get rid thing of and use it. Logitech. Okay, there you go. So you can actually see what they're doing. And I'm gonna go pee. Go... If you go through the cave, there's this little exit, and then there is my summoning sign there. Go, like, through the cave? Which way? Oh, st stick to the left. If you stick to the left of the cave, there will be, like, little spider dudes that shoot at you. You just want to roll through those attacks and go down. And then there will be a side of grace, and... Like, one second. If you look at my screen share or David's stream, you can basically see where I am. We are in different places. No, we oh. aren't. Yeah, if you go if here, if you just follow the left side of this, you make oh, so it So do there. I go to the right? You mean stick to the right? No, this is the left side. I'm walking up it. You're walking up the right side. So, like, here. I'm being summoned to another world, apparently. Yeah. No, no, no. You went to the right. It says being summoned to another world as a cooperator, so I might be k being not kidnapped. Mine. Or... You're being kidnapped. Okay. I... How do I leave? Uh, you, you go to the multiplayer? 
And now I'm gonna super Oh, I think that's how you do it. You have to go to multiplayer and do that. Um, hey, Chips. I don't know if you... Hello. You got game? You Hello, got game? Yes. You I... game? yes. Have you got Elden Rings as well? Nice. Yes. Elden yeah. Ring. Elven, Elven Rings? Elden Rings. Yeah, Elven Elden... Rings. No, it's just Elven, Elden Onion Rings. rings? It's onion rings, actually. It's, it's yeah, onion, onion rings. There you go. I like that better. It's a new game. Okay. Uh, okay. That's me. So, no, no, don't go. Uh, you could go down to the side of Grace and then place it there because I know uh, I know that place. Okay. Yeah, the side of Grace. Yeah. The, okay. The one in the. Cave. I thought we do a dog cam. There you this go. This one over here. It's his cam. Oh, there by you go. the way, you can steal the materials from them. <laughs> oh, forgot about the spider. I wonder if I can zoom in on Huzza. Let's have a look. Configuring video. Ready? Configuring video. Try to get you a better shot of the dog. Here we go. Camera okay, control. I'm Let's zoom. I'm walking over to it, and I'm gonna use it, and then you should be able to there take me over to the other world. Okay. There you go. It's I just Zaw used Cam. it there. Do you see it? There you go. That's Zawcam. My name uh, is. I think it'll give me a sec to like render in, but. Has yeah, anyone found name... Cal yet? What, what do you mean by has anyone found Cal? Well, I haven't seen Cal today, have you? Oh no. Didn't it feel like something was missing the whole time? Uh, yeah. Apparently, there's more than one alien in Montreal. That's the that's the deal. How's the map doing? Has it changed a lot? We got a lot of people in there now. I'm searching up how you do. Oh, that is yeah. coming along. That's great. Oh, I can't wait to get this in. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna go to. Hmm. I wanna go to Discord, right? And then I'm probably going to want to just do put a, a post in Discord, right? What? If I do like a post to everyone? Did you find my thing yet? I did not find no. your thing. Are you sure? No. I'm being sent to another world now. Announcements. If I put in announcements, that's where I to do it. I think it could okay. be in similar areas or something. Uh, I'm, Hello I at everyone. I love doing I, this. You can try to send it to mine or something. Oop, no. Oop. Yeah. Hello so, at everyone. Wait, how do you get search, item crafting? I don't even know item Search crafting. up how you do that and then... Wait, can the I fabulous sneak up and kill this dude? Wait. Jack Chasra. No, I can't kill that dude. What? Multiplayer, I'm gonna cut off my finger and then I return back to my That's world. That's nice. You just cut off your finger. That's really nice. Okay. I placed my summon sign. Okay. I have no clue how this works, so as I wait for it to spawn back in, you search up how. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's like how you sum summon someone or Roger. Another guy? Oh yeah, I think I know how we do this. It's just you just there. Yeah, oh, I we got teleported to the Reddit. Okay. I'm resting at the side of Grace and then I'm leaving so then I can teleport. I'm pretty sure you can only do co op when you're doing bosses or the alt something like that. Oh, there actually yeah, I don't want to do that. So that I, I haven't one. killed Margaret on this account yet, so we can fight Margaret. Do you want to? Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Oh wait a second. I want to edit the message. Uh, By the way, you can't use your. Uh. I mean, it'll probably be easier if you. Uh, do migrate with Summoner Roger, because then he can actually tank. Yeah. Since okay. Summoner Roger going to die. <laughs> I have no clue how you do this. So. I'm... All right. I think I posted that. Ready? Am I, have I posted? I'm this? gonna go to an article that says how to do it. Ready? Sending Sounds now. Smart. All right. Oh, how? Put it out what's there. your level in the game? Like, what level are you? Okay, I got Nine. on Discord and I've sorted that out. Oh, there. we cannot play until you now get higher back. level. So weird. Oh. I'm um, at like level twenty. How do you check? check? Oh, everyone's go everyone's doing like tech support on that right now. And what am I? What am I sharing there? Oh, I see. That's the that's that window with the Discord thing. Okay, let's do uh, this. If you go to a site of grace, how much runes do you have? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't understand this. Because you can le you can level your, your stuff up, and then because I'm at level twenty six, and I'm Here gonna go. go get more levels by grinding nice. up. Grinding up what? Uh, runes. If I if. Because I have the Ferrum Great Bridge, and then right by there, there's these enemies that drop 1,000 runes each kill. But the runes are the things you lose if you die. Yeah. Oh, wait. 
can even move this on top. Of Jack Jass is giving that. me tech support. Nope. Need to put that on top of. I need to put that on top of. Discord's got to go. Hmm. That little doggy. That is one poop little doggy. All right. This being a large edition printed Destiny. Oh. Really? Okay. Um. All right, I'm in 3D printing a replicator block right now. Ooh, fun, wow. Interesting location in Antarctica. Is there really? We said, we've got, a, we've got someone in Antarctica? Did someone just make that up or is that like legit? I went the wrong way, didn't I? What's that? Ancient facility. Ah, uh -huh. um, I should have known. I should have known. Uh, any mention of me for the map on Discord? LOL. Yeah, well, it's true. It's a full-time job. It's true. Did did do a lot of work towards this. In the, in the they set it up in the first place. They set up the one password in the first place. is one two three four. So if you... thank you, it's a full-time job. It's a good point. I did I did I did forget to forget you in the mix on this thing. Not forget you, but I did not mention you in that thing. I should totally do that. Um, all right, what do we got? Uh, you can remove ones like that as a min, probably if you want to. Uh, that, that's up to that's Jack Jass right now, I guess. Um, all right. I'll tell you, you know, there was a, there was a, I kind of liked the, uh, Prusa has a, uh, has a 3D print of, uh, of, uh, Zelensky, Zelensky, did I get that right? I always want to say Yelensky, but it's not Yelensky, it's Zelensky, um, which I thought was kind of fun. Let me see if I can find that. Um, he's got sort of a heroic bust of, uh, Zelensky, which I thought okay. was kind of fun. So go. I just want to say, Baz, go to the the first step spawn point. All right. Um, the models. I cannot leave. I cannot oh, you leave. have to rest at the side of Grace and get out of the cave. Hmm. Uh, you have to get out of the cave and and rest at a side of Grace. I did it. Then. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so if you this. rest at the site of Grace and then leave okay. the cave, you can teleport to the first go step. Here. And then you have to go to your multiplayer go. and put in a password, which I just made that. one, two, three, because there. we're not really worrying okay. about any other people joining now, in. Now, check this out. This is... This. And then you can see my thing. I just think this is really cool. They made a bust of Zelensky, um, which I just thought was really cool. I think it's a really it's big model, actually. It's near the bottom left by the Cave of Knowledge. It's kind of hard to see it on this, but... Do um, you to take you to the, um, the, the, the Katana? I just thought that was kind of... I don't need a uh, ride. Sure, I need ammo. Um, I almost killed that guy, and I was battle. very scared. I'm not sure if it's going to let me uh, load where, this whole thing. Because you can actually thing? rotate it in this sometimes. Uh, sometimes. It's at spawn. And then if you go to your big. multiplayer settings in the game, you can right. set your multiplayer password down. to... What put in a complicated password. Wait a second, if I turn down... Hmm, uh, wait, how do I can I turn the, down my settings? Discord chat a little bit? You go settings, settings mul no, it's above settings, it's multiplayer, and then you just have to press Y to get to settings. If I do this... So we got Bag of Chips, so we got Lord Chunky in here. I'm doing really stupid stuff against the guy who one-shots you. Hey, what did you decide about the uh, GPU, Lord Chunky? Um... Me? Yeah, what did you decide about it? You were, you were talking about maybe selling selling one and, and getting another one? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't... It's hard for me to get one because they've restocked them. The they restocked them? Cool. They restocked uh, AMD yeah, and then you have to use Thursdays your at 9.45. Thursdays at 9.45. It's that specific? Yeah, it's pretty specific. Um, I think I'm going to have to turn you up a bit. Let's try that. Um, uh, yeah, it's a, I mean, I it's just a bad time to buy anything computer related right now. And I have a feeling it might get worse. I mean, I don't know if it's going to, is it going to get more expensive? You think because of the fuel prices and stuff? Am I not high enough level? Huh? It's going to get any worse. Well, that's yeah. I mean, I think if anything, it's going to get better. You don't think it can, you think it can get, I don't know. I think it could get worse though. Couldn't it? I, I don't mean, see why it would get worse. I don't see anything changing to make it get worse. What about like the war in, in Europe? In Europe? Increased supply, because no one in Russia gets them. 
No one in Russia gets them. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. I don't think they make the ships oh my in Russia. God. Well, that's they've had a whole bunch of stuff cut off, haven't they? Like there's a bunch of stuff that's just not selling to to Russia anymore. In fact, there was a debate. This is an interesting one actually because I wasn't I was really torn on this. Apparently, one of the big internet providers wants to stop selling their like stop like basically stop the internet service that they're providing Russia. And mm -hmm. people were obviously some people were saying like, well, yeah, we should totally you know you know. Basically, it's a sanction. It's so like a way of saying, like, no, you don't get internet. Why, if you're going to start, if you're going to invade countries, then you're not going to get, you're not going to get internet. But the problem is, if you cut off the internet, then what happens? Right? Yeah. Then they just become even more insular. But then I read there's an article in Vice or Wired that says that Russia's been planning on trying to create their own internet anyways, and they're thinking this might be what pushes them into starting their own internet. Uh -huh. Or a splinter net, as someone right. called it. Uh -huh. I thought that was kind of cool. That's the thing. I don't think. I don't know. I don't have anything against Russian people. Like, yeah, it sounds more like. Putin. That's what I think. I think like certain sanctions, like, just affect like the life of the people rather than it does the government. But I think that's what they're trying. Isn't that what they're trying to do? The government to make a decision. It, but isn't that right. like? Yeah, I guess that's the thing. Is like they want people to to rise up and go like, "You're a jerk. Stop invading places and get out of power." But I guess that's it's not an easy thing, right? Um. Wait a sec. Let me see if there's a th I saw something about this. Um, okay. The problem with big tech's wartime push against Putin. Russia blocks. I think it might be this one. Um, okay. I don't see this. What do you mean my last complimentary? I thought I paid for Wired. God damn it. <laughs> I pay for so many damn things. I can't keep track. That's one of the things that I like about the uh, that I I use the Tech Bandit twenty four is actually subscribing to some of these services so I can get the articles about this stuff. But um, but yeah, the article I'll, I'll try to find it. Um, you know what? It might be in my, it might be in Raindrop. But choose me. Um, let me see if I can do this. If I can do this at all. Um, so. The idea is that they were, you know, they've been playing with the idea of going, of doing what China did, which is basically just like, okay, we're going to take, we're going to do our own little internet. And everyone laughed at China when they said they were going to do it. Everyone's like, oh, the internet, it's, it's free. Nobody's, you know, you, you can't, you can't censor the internet. Well, then they went and did it, didn't they? Um, so the idea is Russia's been talking to China about how they did it. And as a result, looks like they're probably going to go that route if they can. Um, but again... The concern being, um, concern being, if you cut a population off like that, is isn't it just going to cause people to? They're going to hate us. We're going to hate them more because we don't know anything about them. We don't, they don't know anything about us. Anything they hear is going to be awful, um, you know. So the question is, maybe we sh should we leave the internet on for them? I don't know. I don't know either. That's like I'm sort of. I don't think we should do it just because it wouldn't make them. It would make them like us more. <laughs> but well, is anything going to make them like us more at this point? No. I don't know. I mean, I feel like everything we do is an act of war, according to Putin. It's like, God, mm -hmm. sanctions, act of war. You know, oh, we're going to, if they, if you, if any. Invaded the country, not an act of war. Well, that's the funny thing, isn't it? Because, I mean, I, I mean, I, sh I feel like I want to know the history of Russia now. Like, I feel like I want to sit down and just listen to a thing on the whole, like, just, like, where it started, where it's going, especially when they're talking about, um, when they're talking about the idea that he's trying to recreate some kind of old Russian, the old Russian, you know, boundaries or something. I, I, don't I just think Ukraine was ever part of Russia, though. Well, no, that's well, like it was part of the USSR, but it was never even a part of Russia. Ah, uh, sure I think some of Russia might have been Russia, broken but off then they at some point. Up. But, but this like, is it, right? So this is, but this is like, I mean, so they're not allowed to join. I thought they were not allowed to join NATO because there was some agreement made after the second world war saying that we weren't going to, we wouldn't go any further than a certain point in, in Europe because we didn't want to infringe on the, obviously the USSR didn't want us, you know, taking over too much. When I mean, say, I kind of see why they would not want NATO next to them. I like, well, think about what would happen if like, I don't know, like Mexico were to make an alliance with China. Right. What do you think the U S would do? Yeah. They, they, they'd get pretty freaked out. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Again, the issue there would be 
the issue there, I suppose, is, you know, in a democracy, you vote mm -hmm. for people and then they, you know, and that's the will of the people type thing. But I guess there's been so much interference in Ukraine in the past that they've had people come in, voted in because they said they're going to join the EU. And then what do they do? They turn around and make a deal with Putin. Um, so I, I mean, I feel like, yeah, I mean, no matter what, the, no matter what, I, I would say going in with tanks and <laughs> it's probably it's not exactly the, the best way to try to win over a population, really, is it? Um, you know, uh, Huzzah is so precious, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, although I got to say, there's something weird about being in a, you know, in a park going huzzah in the middle of what's going on right now. It just sounds, <laughs> it sounds a bit Russian. Um, worked for 45 years to get independent. Of course we get into NATO. Um, um, is that Lepolintu? Is that, uh, is that, are you talking about Ukraine? Um, Cuban missile crisis was over the same thing. Russia's pissed off about, yeah, I mean. This is the thing. I mean, and also you got to consider America from the outside world's perspective and maybe some of the people in the U.S. as well. You know, we we went into Afghanistan. We went into the Middle East. And, you know, I, I mean, we've 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 gone places that that, you know, where number, you know, where parts, large parts of the population didn't want us. Um, so I, I imagine, you know, like any war, there's going to be there's going to be propaganda on either side. So. But that said, sorry, I'm I'm still with the the F Putin side of stuff because I just feel like the guy's just he just seems he's like a Bond villain. He really is. He's like if he was in a James Bond movie, I would totally believe him, you know. But I don't get to name things. It's true. It's true. Anima Confusa. It's true. Um, yep, that's it. <laughs> dogs. Dogs gone. Um, I think this is more about Putin's ego than anything else. That makes him dangerous. Uh, potentially, I mean, but, you know, doesn't anybody who want to be anybody who wants to be president or prime minister surely has an ego that thinks that they're that, you know, that they're a leader amongst men or whatever. Um, you know, I put a link in the world news, which explains the history of Ukraine and the Russian relationship very well. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Um, uh, in world news. OK, uh, I will. Uh, I'll have a look at that. Let me have a look. That is in our fair Iron-handed tech bandits one. Okay, world news, world news, world news. Where is where's the world news one? I didn't even know we had a world news section. I'm going to have to go scroll through slower because I think I missed it. World news, there it is. Look at that. You are not wrong. Okay. Putin's war explained. Who's Johnny Harris? Who is Johnny Harris? We know who that is. Is that like a is it a reputable a reputable source? Um, he's got two point four four million viewers. That always makes me nervous. Um, okay, well, I'll have a look at that. Thank you very much, uh, Melissa. That's uh, much appreciated. I shall have a look. Uh, Johnny Quest's real name. It's really his name. Wow, he would be a great Bond villain, wouldn't he? Stedman's got it. Stedman knows what I'm talking about. Um, Normally, they'd get voted out, but Russia, yeah, I mean, that's it. Russia isn't a democracy. I mean, I would argue that even our democracy is, is struggling at this point because I, you know, we're not, we definitely don't, it's not like a one-to-one -one vote at this point, is it? There's all sorts of rules and, 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 and zone, what is it, different, different, um, uh, different voting districts and stuff. And it's all about, it all seems about like trying to, trying to like game the system the entire time, isn't it? Uh, Russia had a vibrant avant-garde art scene in the 1920s. There's an experimental art film done in one shot called Russian Arc. I do. Yes, I know that very well. Invisible Dimensions. Um, there are many wonderful Russian artists who are anti-war. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, Invisible Dimensions. I don't think this is a Russian invasion. I think this is a Putin invasion. You know what I mean? Is it wrong that whenever I say Putin, I think of the fries with gravy and cheese? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> situation in Ukraine might be the catalyst that causes the russians to out putin well that's kind of the hope right you know um yeah just to be very clear i love putin putin not a fan but putin big well, that's fan. how the people in quebec pronounce they pronounce it putin putin wait a second they say putin like putin mm -hmm. really even though i'm from quebec but i know some people that do 
I met a person once at a truck stop who said <laughs> who said Putin instead of wait a second, how do I how did I miss uh I keep screwing up my Discord thing. I'm supposed to be viewing that. There we go. I don't want to pop it out. Why am I popping it out? What the hell? Go away. God, I don't understand. Technology. It's too confusing. Uh how do I go back to the regular thing? Turn on camera. No, I don't want to stop watching. How do I stop the pop out? Full screen? No. Jeez, now what have I done? God, man. Uh, one day I'll figure all of this out, and it'll be amazing. It'll be like having my own TV station. Okay, so Eventually. this... What is Discord goodness? Let's have a look at what we got. Do we have a choice? Can I have a choice here? Um, nope, I can't, can't share that anymore because I've screwed it up. I screwed up! Damn it! Okay. How do you stop exit full screen? Okay. But then how do I go out of pop out? Is there a way to do that? Grid. Ha. Nope. X. Okay. Now, I, is that cancel? Let me go back. Let me go back to here. Nope, this one. Let me go back and now I can share that again. Okay, now that should be that should be showing up now, right? Did I get that right at least for once? Okay, there you go. Um Putin, indeed. Elminster, uh, Putin, Putin, both are sloppy messes. Just one is tasty. <laughs> you go. The Putin jokes are starting already. Uh, I started watching two hours ago just before I was going to bed. It's now 5.43. You're a bad influence. Holy serious furret. Get some freaking sleep. What are you like? What are you supposed to be doing tomorrow today? Why are you going to bed so late in the first place? And then what are you supposed to be doing tomorrow that's going to be, what have we ruined for you tomorrow? The dog cam moved? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, it's just, you know why? Because I moved my mouse. Whenever I move my mouse, the dog can't move. Yeah, I should call them poutine pecs, shouldn't I? Um, okay. Who cares how to say his name? Yeah, true. Good point. Uh, yeah, the pecs are too good to be called poutine now. That's very true. Very, very true. I'll tell you, I've started playing with a new program. If anyone has uh, one of them fancy iPads, I highly, highly recommend you get a hold of a program called Nomad, which is a 3D Nomad? sculpting software. It is so much fun. That sounds like uh, something that, like, like a program that like Nomad uses. Sky. No, it sounds like a like a program, like it, it not is a, game. It, it is a program that someone with anger should have like go to. Oh, like no mad stops yeah. you from being mad. It's no That's like nomad. Nomads like means that. means like a someone who doesn't have like who's always moving, who's never doesn't have a, a, a set home. They move around, they travel around. Um, and I guess the idea is that it's you, you get to travel around doing your three D three D design stuff. Uh, it is it's absolutely uh, unbelievable. Like I can't I I can't get over how how great this software is. It takes I mean again learning curve because there's a lot of little tricks and stuff. Um, is it Chrome or is it a window, window capture? Yeah, there you go. Um, so this is, this is it. It's Nomad Sculpt and it's just gorgeous. Like what you can do with it is, I mean, of course I can't do any of this stuff. I suck, but I'm starting and I'm having fun doing it. I think it's like 20 bucks or something. Honestly, highly worth it. It will, you'll spend more time on that than L than, than, than what is it? Onion rings that they're playing now. No, I don't. Th I think that's. Oh yeah, lie. totally. Onion rings. Yep. I'm gonna do some homework now, but thank you for the. What's the homework? It is a business project on Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, how did I know? Nice. Well, are you saying nice things about mm -hmm. Zuck, or what are you? What are you no, talking no, about? No, no, no. Oh, really? I don't like Zuck that much. Really? I just really like Zuck. He just looks like a robot. He's just mm -hmm. kind of fun. He's a robot. Do you prefer Zuck or Elon Musk? Um. Elon Musk. Yeah. But I don't really like either that much. I, I find them both a little much. creepy, to be honest. But, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk at least is doing some really interesting stuff, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Whereas, yeah, the other guy just seems a bit, he seems a bit creepy. Well, I should wrap up too, anyways, because I've been going it's for over two hours. Yeah, the lizard people. We've got to watch out for them. Um, all right. Look, Lord Chunky, thank you so much. I am flattered that thank your you. walk home was shared right. with us here. <laughs> all right. Bye. Have a good one. Say hi to mom. Um, all right. Well, then I think I'm going to wrap it up. Not because just because Lord Chunky's gone, but because you know I feel that I feel that uh, 
that um, that uh, onion rings is uh, is obviously very exciting, and uh, I'm uh, I'm running out of things to say. Who doesn't like robots? Nobody doesn't like robots, if you ask me. Uh, yes, serious. Fur- yeah, we've got to stop because serious fur it's not going to sleep until we stop. So there you go, everybody. Serious fur it, fur it. Let's get him to sleep. Uh, David is a robot. I'd love to be a robot. Go for Fluffernut. Have a fine evening, um, everybody. Thank you so so much. Thank you for all of the. You know all of the follows and the and the subscriptions and all that kind of stuff. Really appreciate it. Um, and uh, I'm hoping you know when we get back from from March break that uh, I'm going to be able to open things up here a bit um, and maybe have a couple oh, yeah. of the after, local after bandits March come by. Break, we have no restrictions. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. So, here at least. so what I was hoping was that maybe once we get the restrictions down, maybe we can get a couple of bandits, local bandits, in here to get these CNC machines up and running and all that kind of stuff. Cause uh, you know, I want, I want people to start using all this, all these fun toys I have. Yeah, it's, it seems like a shame to just have them in the basement. Huzzah! Exactly. Um, Snot Bubbles AU, aren't, shouldn't you be asleep if you're in Australia? You know, it's not as much fun when I wrap up in under 10 minutes. It's true, Anima Confused, it's very, very true. Okay, uh, David is old, he's gonna be 54 next month. Is that right, Tweety Rose, at 54? Is it really 54? Baz, do you know? He's probably already gone. Bailed. First chance Pardon? he had. Am I 54 this year? Yes. Um, Jeez, really? Wait. That's pretty freaking old. I, I just want to say, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is the same age. And we're almost as fit. Yeah. Anyways. That's uh, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for at least attempting to be polite about that. Uh, bag of chips, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, we're, I think our, our, next, our next big plan is, uh, I think, is going to be an adult D&D. But, um, but that said, we should probably do another kids D&D at some point, too. Um, and as I say, I'd love to get some people over to do some, um, to do some uh, you know, making of stuff. Maybe we can make some, like, swords or something out of wood and cnc machines or something all right uh sga joke was indeed in order it's very true swahili hamster has followed oh thank thank you very much swahili hamster uh i sent you a friend request on discord but is there a better place to reach out to propose working with tech bandits on a project idea jeer yes uh my email address um the forward facing email address is david i hewlett at gmail.com uh, that is your best way to uh, to get me. In fact, I will put it in here right now. Uh, is there an email? Is there a special? I well, don't think you a... have. Oh, I just want to say, soon I'm gonna get my VR back. And mm, what happened to it? Where is where's it been? It's been in its box because we just moved across the country. Oh, it's still boxed up. Yeah. Ah, because you're too busy with Elden. Could you play Elden uh, Elden Fries in um in the uh, in VR? No, but I can play a game really similar to, like it to it. It's ah. called Blade and Sorcery, and I'm really excited to play that again. Well, just makes me sick thinking about it. I'm gonna head out. All right, get out of here, Ham. Thanks so much, right. buddy. I'm gonna I go have to. to go as well. Uh, the bandits. Yeah. All right, bag of chips. Thank you much. Uh, I love all the food-related names for Elden Rings. I know. It makes, I think I'm hungry is the problem. That's the issue. Um, World Productions, is there anything I can do from Belgium to help the tech bandits? You're doing it. You're coming by. You're answering questions. You're asking questions. That's exactly it. I think the most important thing people can do is just is to is to get in here and chat and, and share your ideas with, with not just us but other people. And that's sort of what this is all about. It's about sort of a nice sort of hopefully safe space for people to – to learn some stuff and teach some stuff and, you know, and band together and come up with cool ideas like, like Jack Jasra and, uh, and it's, uh, uh, who else was it? Who else was, was responsible for that, uh, that, uh, that fabulous, um, uh, uh, Google map. What was it? It's a something. Damn it. It's called Google maps. No, it's I know, like but a... who was it? There was someone else who came up with a suggestion as well. Right. Originally was talking about it. It's, uh, an... no, no, but they're called a, it's a something or uh, I can't remember the name now. See, there's too many damn names. They all have such fancy names. I can't remember them all. I'm scrolling way up to see if I can find it. No. Is that as far up as I go? Really? Jeez. It's a full-time job or something like that. It's a full, it's a something. Who was it? Damn it. It's a full-time job. That's it. It was, it's a full-time job. I knew it was, it's a full-time something. Yeah. Um, so I have to say thank you to, it's a full-time job too for, 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 for Wait, doing some of the math on that. 
this is probably a weird question, but is it's a full time job? Is streaming his full time job? Hmm. I don't know. Good point. Don't know. No idea. Um, I want to find out where's that. Where's the map? Oh, there it is. Okay. I want to see if it, I want to update the map and see how many people there are now. Ho! Oh, that is picking up. That is a lot of people. Some people just put down their point though. Don't forget to put a name in there or something. Otherwise, yeah, you just I'm, point twenty two. I just I forgot to put my wolf pup in there. I just could just have a mark in New Brunswick. I was kind of hoping there really was someone in Antarctica that could actually, like, you know, could tell us about being in, Antar in Antarctica. It'd be kind of fun. Um, I'd have to get rid of the fake ones. Wouldn't it, it be hard to live in Antarctica, though? Yeah, but that's why it'd be really cool. I watched this show the other night, um, or part of it. It's like a documentary called uh, Off the Grid. And it's all, like, people living off the grid. So it's people who are, like, having to create their own electricity, and they're using, like, wind power. And they a lot of them are using these little stream generators. So they're, like, little... They're like little generators that are rigged up to trickling water. Like not even like really fast moving water, but just like trickling water. And it just turns this little turns this little generator and um, and they just they don't need any power from anybody. They don't need nothing from anybody. Um, and they're not all like crazy survivalist types. They're like, you know, they're just like living out in the middle of nowhere. There's some of them are in BC. There's some man, there are some I can't imagine how freaking cold they must be all the time, but there's some like in northern, northern What's it called? The Northwest Territories, like up in like Nunavik or something. And that was, I think it was Inu Inuvik. I think it was Inuvik. Uh, Inuvik? Um, or maybe it was. None of it? Or might it be, I Was it Nunavik or was it. I don't remember. Anyways, it, kind of a fun show. It was, weirdly, it was actually also done by people in the, um, in like the Ministry of Energy and stuff, because they were like looking for how people are working off the grid and what we could learn from them to use to help our power concerns. What was it called? It was called uh, Off the Grid Movie. There you go. Oh, there's a lot of them. Life Off Grid. There you go. That's it. Life Off Grid. Let me get you a... Oh. There you go. Oh, they got a website. Perfect. There you go. Let me get you the website for it. Uh... Yeah, it was really fun. Because it I just gets you thinking about what, what it would be like. I know that I would never be able to do it because my wife and my son would kill me. Uh, I'd be murdered like a, you know, like a, like something out of a The Shining movie. Because um, they do not, they do not want me, to, <laughs> they do not want me to take their, do not want me to take their urban lifestyle away from them. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And I'm I don't feel that. like there would be much acting jobs out there. Well, you can audition. You know, I mean, you know, nothing to stop you from flying out. Plus, who wants to yeah, who wants to act anyways? I'll be out in the middle of nowhere. It'd be so much fun. I'll be like wrestling bears. Be like wrestling bears and and figuring out. How, uh, but how are you gonna pay for the land though? It's still oops. owned by. Oh, I just hit the, I just hit the camera. Wait a second. There you go. How's that? There you go. It's Better. still owned by a territory. Well, it's, yeah, but you're in the middle of nowhere. No one comes and bothers you. It'd be so much fun. Uh. You'd be the best yeah, actor. I, it's true. James Gurney says I'd be the best actor in Antarctica. They'd probably, I'd probably get an Oscar. No, no I wouldn't want to go to Antarctica, but I'd like to go somewhere. I like the idea of like being off grid somehow. I like the idea of like not having to be reliant on, on you know, on, on other energy sources other than the ones that I've created my own. That would just be kind of cool, you know. But only on scheduled flights. You're right, Captain Catherine. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of inconveniences. We lived in. I mean, not to equate the two. We lived in Point Roberts. Which is this wonderful little part of of, uh, of Washington State that you can only get to through Canada, and it's out on the West Coast. By you can go look it up; it's it's amazing. Um, and Weird. why do you have to go to Canada to get there? Well, it's did, it's. Let me see if it, I can show you. Should be owned by Canada because that would make more sense. I would make more sense, but that's not what they did. Let me see if I can find it. Let me go to our map. Do I have our map? What if I? Huh? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so this is our map. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in here. And then I think I should be able to show you the map by showing you the window capture. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So there's a little window capture. I'm going to make it a little bigger so you can see what's going on. There's a lot of people on this map already. It's getting pretty cool. I mean, it was cool before. It's even cooler now. Uh, okay. So go to here. Okay. So let me show you where it is. So, all right. So you are around here. 
this is over here, and it's the weird oh, I'm little. The, I'm the radioactive symbol. Damn in... right. Who runs? Okay, let me see if I don't I can... know why I made it radioactive. I should have made it like a yeah. dog. Where the heck is it? Where is it? Oh, here. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, one sec. Nimo. Hang on. There's the United States. There you go. Right there, you go. That's it. See? Look. Oh, you can't. Can you see it? There's like so. So this is BC at the top here, Richmond, Vancouver, and then the bottom is Point Roberts, right? And it's just this little bit of land, and the only way to get in and out is through that is that street right there. Or the ocean. That's probably or the ocean. People... But the ocean is the ocean half the like half when the tide's out. Like look, at, you can't really see here, but when the tide's out, that bay is almost entirely empty. It's insane. Um, but uh, Yes, the only way to, would be to take a boat across, and there are no ferries. There's a tiny, tiny little airfield, but it's not even like a real airfield. I think. I wonder if you can even see it here. I bet you probably can't even make it out. Um, I don't know where. I think is that it there? I think that might be it there. Yeah, there you go, Point Roberts Air Park. I gotta say, man, I loved it. It was so cool because we're really in the middle of nowhere. We used to live. I think I showed you guys before. We used to live up here somewhere. Um, we were in here somewhere, I think. Is that it? Yeah, we were right there, Wayland Drive, right there. So you had this beautiful, beautiful view out over the lake. Did you just show your exact house where you used to live? Where I used to live, yeah, yeah. So you could look out over, and you could see, you could see uh, Whistler at night. You could see the lights on Whistler. You could look the other way in our backyard. We could see that other mountain, whatever it is, Mount. Uh, Something or another. Oh, I just want to say, living in New Brunswick, I can actually see stars here instead of having so much light pollution uh, that I can't. I know. See, that's Toronto sucks for stars. It's surprisingly good at times, but 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 for the most part, pretty sucky. No, uh, Point Roberts is the same thing. It was just oh. But I could not imagine having lived there during the pandemic because you can't get in or out because the borders closed, and so there's limited amount of 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 um, uh, food and services and stuff and then the entire industry there is based on basically a little bit of tourism they've got a marina and they've got uh cheap gas and uh mailboxes so when people want to get stuff delivered to the states they want to get stuff delivered to canada without all the duties and all that kind of stuff they get it delivered to point roberts and then they just drive across get it and drive back over across it again but i oh my god i used to love it but the the area is incredibly cheap like for what you get the prices of the houses are ridiculous because you're basically on an island. Anyways, that's it's a it's oh, amazing I place. I just want to say the other day I went over to like a couple weeks ago. I shouldn't say the other day. There's the place near Moncton where it's basically this town not connected to anything. And so it has a lot of every backyard has like multiple acres mm. or at least one. And my mom has a friend there, and we went there the other day. There was, like, deer in the backyard. Wow. That was actually the first time I've seen deer other than on roads. Yeah, I've I seen deer. We had deer. We had deer come down our road during the pandemic. In the middle of Toronto, we had a deer come bounding along the road. And coyotes and all sorts of We've got sc uh, raccoons. I mentioned raccoons. But yeah, but it, but it, but that's that was a that was an anomaly. That was that never happened, you know. Um, uh, Saladin, how are you, Saladin? All right, I gotta go. Uh, all right, yeah, deer are beautiful, um, amazing looking things. This one was wounded, and we called up and said, "Look, what do we do? Animal control? What do we do?" They said, "Leave it, leave it, leave it. Uh, just let it go back to the to where it where it belongs, and which is in this." probably in this this park near us and uh it got hit got hit by a car on the way across the road i knew it would we said we said that you got to come get it but they they're like no 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 we can't interfere with with nature and well, they should have um anyways uh all right get out of here um now that i've talked I've talk about dead deer that's the point we can what a bummer bringing this down man they're taking us low um all right give us a happy happy tech thought what do you got wolf pup Well, this is kind of a just a statement about like just technology in general. What do you got? With with like graphics sitting better, 
doesn't that make it harder for indie games to get out there? Well, they got better tools though. Like, you know, because like Unreal Engine and, and Unity are, are, are have made have brought gaming to people who probably wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. Cuz now say? Minecraft, that wouldn't really be accepted if it was released this year cuz blocky graphics and all that. Well, except that there were way better graphics than 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 Minecraft when it first came out. I mean, it came out and it was it was a stylized thing, right? That people liked it because of its simplicity, I think, right? I mean, it was kind of a really smart way of doing because there were still like what I mean, GTA was out then, wasn't it? But GTA has really good graphics. I, that's what I'm saying. Also. Like it's, but like it's like it's so. In other words, it came out at a time when it could have had better graphics, but it had it had sort of low res, blocky blocky graphics and that was i think part of the appeal wasn't it? i think it's just like really smart that's the beautiful thing about indie indie stuff is that you don't have to throw money at problems you can just be sort of you can use your brain to work yourself around them right that's one guy started minecraft that's crazy you know um but yeah i think you're, i mean it's a good point though you're saying like as i definitely feel like as things have got more complicated that that it's harder to have all the skills needed to do it but I still think that because of the tools that are out now, you probably could create games. You know, you were building games on, on uh, you know, on Scratch, for God's sake. Yeah, but I was not good at that at all. I, I mean, what, who's to say what's good and what's not? If it worked, it worked, right? Me. Yeah. I mean, it, well, you could say, I mean, you could do better. So you just keep, you, know, you get better the more you do things, right? Um, yeah, you want to, if you want to play with, if you want to do gaming, have a look at Unity. I mean, Unity's got some amazing tools for, for doing stuff. And they've got all these, you can just bring in a lot of these assets yourself, right? They have free assets that you can just dump into your game and start using them. Um, they got, and then, and then uh, I think they have different licensing things. I don't remember exactly how it works, but there's also Unreal Engine, which have, of course has all sorts of amazing don't things. Don't they have Lego? They have Lego. Uh, Unity has a, has a, It'll teach you how to code Lego games using Unity. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Have you tried that? Uh, no, actually. I had that ages ago. I had that up on one of the Tech Bandits things. Oh, let me look it up again. Unity Lego. There you go. Oops. Unity Leg. Nope. Not a Unity Leg. Unity Lego. There you go. Micro game. Unity Learn. This is the one. Definitely check this out. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's something else that I should, I don't think I've got it here. Um, there was, uh, let me see if I can find it. It was an email that I got that I want to talk about for a quick second here. Cause you know, I'm so good at saying goodbye. This is goodbye, everyone. This is me saying goodbye. Here I go. I blame Wolf Pup. Wolf Pup's fault. Wouldn't let me leave. Uh, did I put the Lego jam in there? Did I get that in there? I did. Okay, good. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That's me. Oh, yep. Uh, yep. That's me too. I just want to quickly say, World Productions, you're thinking of Valheim. Oh, is that right? Yeah, he just said, wasn't there a game that came out with pixelated graphics, in, but 3D with Vikings? And that, you're right. I was... I there was, you're right. Valheim came out and basically I don't really know how everybody found it all at once. All right, let me see if I can find this email. Cuz like 60 streamers just started playing it out of the random. But they weren't paid apparently, so I don't know how they really found it. Huh. What is the deal on that? What was the deal then? I, I I I think I missed the beginning of that. We were talking about how the blocky isn't really accepted now in games. Huh. You don't think so? I mean, you know, I, every people still go back to people still go back to, you know, some of the older games every so often and play them, don't they? I mean, you were saying yourself there were a couple of games that people were playing older ones. Uh, yeah, for some reason GTA just came up. Like, oh right, yeah, that was one. But that. You're saying that still has pretty good graphics even back then? Yeah, they've updated it. It's still getting updates even now. Still to this day getting updates. But they are working on GTA 6. 
They are. I've heard rumors of it. That, that I always feel like they do rumors for so long. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Oh my god, I totally forgot about Nathaniel's. Remember Nathaniel? We talked about we talked about making music with Nathaniel. He has he has an album out now. Oh, he does. Yeah, he has a full album out. All right, I should share these for sure. Okay, uh, there's a streaming page. Copy link address. Oh, you gotta check this out. Okay, I haven't actually heard this yet. I've got to do this. Okay, so I'm putting it. I'm sharing it in the chat. Um, okay, so that is Nathaniel Philip who was very kind talked to the kids about how to do um you know how to get into music and how he was doing it and all of his music stuff i'm going to copy this link too uh so go and check him out see what the album's like see what you think i'm curious to hear that too i'm gonna listen to it tonight maybe yeah i'll have to listen to it tonight um okay and uh so is that and the other thing i really want to do is i wanted to check on this other there was another email that was recommended to me let me see uh yeah no um oh there's just too many people too little time that's the problem i'm gonna try one more time to see if i get there you go okay so this was from elizabeth who um who if you remember jeff jeffries who used to used to join us um he is uh well hopefully he'll join again one day but he's i think he's uh he's in a different i think he's with a different bunch of folks now i think but um she was telling me about this this contest that they have, which is a um, you can you can actually it's it's uh, it's like a cryptography. So it's basically um, uh, like crypto hacking, cracking, and it's an actual competition for people to get involved in, which I thought was really cool. So I'm going to put that in our in our thing, too. There you go. Um, and that's just how to join for Canadians. Uh, the whole thing. I believe it's this is the link to the whole thing in general. But Elizabeth was telling me that we should check that out and maybe even consider doing like a tech bandits team. I don't think we got enough tech bandits who are interested in cracking and hacking, but 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 who knows? Oh, there's a Discord too. Look at that. There you go. Uh, support online that helps you do the challenges. Uh, teams have to be all U.S. or all Canadian to be eligible for prizes. Um, that sounds really cool, actually. Um, it's been really fun in the past. Uh, her kids loved it. They got all sorts of hacking, cracking challenges, including crypto, shell. So shell, like being like breaking into like Unix accounts type thing. And uh, Python, of course, which is used a lot for these things. There's a support online that helps you do the challenges. Um, yeah, it just sounds really neat. Um, you know, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure that I've got enough tech bandits to make a team, but uh, I guess I could ask. Um, how well, big no, is a team, though? I have no idea. I have to check out the website, see what they got, see if there's anything worth, if, if there's something we can be doing. There's their discount. There's their their Discord invite as well, so you can. There's a Discord chat did too. Say th did you say that's there's their discount or Discord? <laughs> there's their Discord. It's a discount. All right, I gotta get out of here. Uh, World Productions is not from U.S. or from Canada, so you just have to be like a silent helper, like a you'd be like our ringer. Uh, all right. Uh, no, I can't hack to save my life either, but I, I just, I'm fascinated by it. I find the hacking stuff just absolutely fascinating. Um, all right, but I also find... I need to make a quick note that you don't hack people. You just are interested. Am I? Yes, that's exactly it. I would not, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, look, there was a time when I was younger and, and there weren't so many rules about it that I, that I loved the idea. And I would poke around on websites and stuff to see what, you know, what worked and what didn't and stuff. But it was always just to see what, you know, just like it was like exploring to me. Um, and then as soon as the, the laws came into place about it, I stopped. I stopped entirely because it's just not worth going to jail for, for you know, curiosity. Um, all right. Uh, Watcher 652 has got a huge avatar, apparently. Is that in the uh, is that in, in our in our uh, what is that in our in our Google map or what in what? I just find computers incredibly fascinating. You're right. Powered by ZPM. So I'm exactly the same. Uh, all right. I said I'm leaving and I really am leaving. Would it be a white, gray, or black hat hacker? I would have been, I would, like, I love the idea of being a white hat hacker because, man, you can actually make really good money doing, like, really cool hacking stuff. That's what, that's what I like about it. So. Um, and, uh, that's a gray hat hacker. <laughs> that's like, they sort of work in between. They're not really good or bad. They're sort of between, like, they're, they do some bad stuff, some good stuff, if that makes sense. I guess you could call, well, I don't know. Would you call anonymous? 
are they black hat hackers or they or they I mean I would call them gray I, I I sort of like that they take a take a stance against people like Putin um chaotic neutral there you go I'm a professional cyber operator with the Canadian Armed Forces I'd be happy to mentor some of you guys if you want to do an event like this oh wow GR that'd be amazing professional cyber operator with the Canadian Forces holy cow that's like the real deal so that's probably a fake name <laughs> GR, I, GR, I would love that. That'd be fantastic. Um, you know, uh, if you want to do the do the email thing, uh, David I Hewlett at uh, at gmail dot com, and um, just mention GR in your in your um, uh, in your email, and I'll I'll uh, I'll if I think of it, I'll do a search and, and look you up and uh, and see if we can get in touch. That'd be that'd be amazing. Um, pirate noise, R GR. All right, um, YAR, Silent J. Oh. I just want to say, I kind of understand your problems with getting motion sickening in games. I just spun around the guy a lot. And oh, I don't do that, like man. You okay, David? AKA Mr. Talkie. Do you talk? And your sleep? I do. I talk in my sleep. It's true. Um, actually, Baz talks in his sleep, but I didn't tell you that if you asked. Okay, get out of here. Be safe. Be kind. Be brilliant. Until we geek again, I will say cheerio and. I know, I know who you should raid. Oh, we got to raid? Are we going to raid? I haven't raided forever. Yeah. Who are we raiding? We should probably raid uh, Milky Charms. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how do I raid again? Exclamation mark raid. Okay. Okay, but someone's going to give me the exact name. Exact. Someone's going to put in their name, and you're going to be like, okay, yep, that's Milky Someone Charms. Someone put it in. I have not played Star Citizen, I'm afraid. Can you, can you give me the actual spelling of it? I want to make sure I get it right. Capital M. Yep. I L K Y. Why? Milky. Those are all yep. lowercase. Oh, they're all lowercase. Oh, thank you, James. Because I've done this before. No, there's the M and the C are. I don't think it matters. Capital. Does I don't it, know if it matters. It probably I'm doesn't just, matter. I'm guessing it probably. I'm doesn't just going to be saying so we don't. But just so we know, just in case, let's do it. Just in case it's some ripoff account that has different things. I'm going to capitalize that and capitalize the C, right? Ready? Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's happened. That doesn't work. It didn't work. What is it not an exclamation no... mark? Is it something different put... that a, maybe it's not an exclamation mark. Is it something else? You put it in, right? I put it in. That's what I thought I did. Oh slash raid. That's it. See, I told you. Wolf pup. All right, can I do that now? If I do this, let's try it again. Here we go. We're gonna raid everyone. So be safe, be kind, be brilliant. Until we get again, I'll say cheerio and huzzah, and then we raid. Okay, now we're raiding. 15, 20, 26. How many people are in here? 33, 38. Oh man, 30. Not, wow, I didn't know there was that many people. 30, not 41 people. Holy cow. Here we go. We're ready to raid. There's, there's 58 people here. Right? Are there? Should I wait for 58 to? It keeps going up and down the number of viewers. It's like 1, 2, 41, 42. I don't know. Yeah, because people can leave the raid. Ah, uh, oh, really? You can leave the raid? I didn't know that. Yeah, if, if you don't want to be raided, then you can leave the raid. Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, we're back up to 45 now. So let's go with 45. All right, everyone. Let's we're go heading over. See you soon. Bye. Raiding. Then I have to still end my stream, though, right? Otherwise, it's still kind of going. Yeah, people can still hear you if you don't end it. All right, very good. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to end the stream right now. Oh, no, wait a second. Can I do this? Uh, okay, I got it. Don't be a dick. I, like, that's the rules. Don't be a dick.